Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. I am now King, the custodian of the revered of all of Omori Kingdom. And you will definitely accord me that respect. Oh, come off it, brother. You know I respect you a lot. But the very moment you started encroaching into my privacy and using your king position to tame my sexuality, every respect I had for you dwindled. I keep forgetting you know who has ruled you have an abomination hanging around your neck. Why am I even wasting my time having this conversation? This conversation is very necessary because I, Princess Ebubene, I will get married to Lady Charlotte. <laughs> How dare you mention that name? Are you mad? You slapped me. Mention that name one more time and I will do worse. You surely regret this. <laughs> What happened? She walked out on us. What? Why? I don't know. And you didn't care to find out why she did that? I didn't even know when she did. Before I could know it, she was out of our sight. This is getting serious. I will not take this. I will not take this insult and embarrassment from Ibu Benne. She will incur my wrath. Please, please, it hasn't gotten to that yet. Everything will be sorted out. She listens to you. Go talk to her because she will not like the other side of me. Okay, where is she now? I don't know. Let me have the keys. Let me have the keys. Where are we going? I want to drive myself. Give me the keys now. She's not taking her calls. You see? She will not take her cause because she knows what she has done. But by God, if a bubene pushes me, I will lay curses on her. My husband, it hasn't gotten to that. For now, it hasn't gotten to that. But if she doesn't change from her ways, I will sure lay curses on her. My husband, please take it easy. I will speak to her. I'm sure she will listen. You have been speaking to her and she's not listening. But you see, in this case, she must listen. In fact, she has no choice but to listen. I will continue speaking to her, and I pray she listens. But, please, can I ask you a question? Of course. This is marriage. You can't force her into it. Who told you anybody's forcing her into it? Nobody forced the Bubena into this situation. She by herself asked this young man to come with his people only for her to turn around and stage a walkout in the face of no provocation. Who does that? Did you ask Nairi if he did anything to her? Papa. I am telling you that I was there myself. The young man did nothing to her. This is becoming complicated. And I will not let her complicate my life and that of the royal family because my father will turn in the grave if that happens. Sweet. 
heart. Yes, baby. My darling. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You did not sound well over the phone. And here you are looking upset. What is the matter? My brother is at it again. <sighs> I thought as much. What has he done this time? He also forced me into marriage. I know. I know that should be the matter on the front line. And what did you say to him? I didn't say anything. I, I just walked up on them. Then? I don't understand. My love, as we speak right now, the idiot came with his people to make his failed intention known to my kinsmen. I, I, still, I still don't understand. Have you been talking with that young man to the extent that he came to meet with your brother and the kinsmen? Whatever he's doing, he's on his own. Sweetheart, that doesn't answer my question. Answer me. It's a long story. Long story. All right. <laughs> you know how much I love stories. Uh -huh. More especially. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's sleeping away what life is oh, yeah. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination My husband, the people are waiting. You need to go dismiss them. Please help me do that. That will mean adding salt and injury. How do you know? The princess walked out on them. And then the next person they're seeing is the queen. Coming to tell them the king says they can go, my dear. That will be really embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. But the question is, how do I face them? You are the king. I believe you will always have your way. They are your subjects. They'll listen to you against all odds. Now, your addressing them will help bring down the tension. It would give them reason to hang on to what they came for. At the same time, it would serve as self-respect from the king to his subordinates. We we'll have a point here. That is why I am insisting that the king go talk to his people. You know, you alone know how to get into my head. I'm just being a good wife. Remember to tell them that all hope is not lost. Okay, my special advisor. Thank you very much, my wife. I have to go now. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Come in. What is her problem? Why would she drive up with such speed? How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But I thought she had visitors and she's leaving. See, let me tell you. This place is becoming a nuisance in this compound. And it doesn't tell good stories about her. She has visitors. They are still inside. And she left them. Just like that. Something is wrong with her. Mind the way you talk about the princess. She could fire you. Fire me too. <laughs> she has to be the one to hire me before she can fire me. She did not hire me. She cannot fire him. She do not hire You can't just believe what happened. What's happened? Will you ever do something meaningful with your life other than to gossip? Hey! Please, I'm not here because of you. Day or day. Of course, you can't be here because of me. I am glad you know I am not caught out for your gossip. I beg just to wait up, wait up. My dear, the princess just walked out on her suitors. Hey, wait. Hmm. Why, Kwani? She didn't say why she walked out, though. The princess I know cannot do that. She loves me, Nanyere, dearly that she can go to any length to marry him. That means you are not in touch with the reality. Everyone came last six months to marry the princess. It ended in disaster. Kalu came, the same story. 
Emmanuel came, the same thing. We shouldn't be surprised to see the princess walk out on this again. But wait, who, who has been feeding you with this wrong information? I don't think that's the wrong information. Because you know, say, you just came to the palace. You never know what's up. You don't know what happened in the past, though. My question is, why is the princess doing this? Mami, they ask, or they ask the question. I'm not going to have a lot of people call up on the nation. I'm not going to have a lot of people call up on the nation. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. She's living a way of life. She learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and tradition. Tell me, what is your plan? I am not interested in getting married to him. So when he's done wasting his time at the palace, he will simply go. And your brother? What if he insists that you get married to that young man? He can't take decisions for me. I am a full grown adult now. I know, sweetheart. I just ask, what are you going to do? <sighs> My love. I cherish everything we have together and we have come a very long way. No man on the surface of this earth can separate us, not even at a gunpoint. I love you. Is that a promise? No. What? It is more than a promise, but an oath that I will never break. I love you and I want to be with you forever. But the question is, are you ready to spend the rest of your life with me? Sweetheart, you know I've always dreamt to spend the rest of my life with you. And I... <laughs> I don't have anything more to say. The most important thing is, I love you and you love me too. And that is what matters. <laughs> You've just made my day. <laughs> Why did you say that? <sighs> because I didn't know you would be going all the way with me. Considering the tradition and your position as the princess. But I'm happy. I love you too. Look, I value what we share. I appreciate, adore, and cherish every single moment we spend together. And no tradition, not even our tradition, can separate us. I, Princess Ebubene, will do everything possible to make sure that we spend our lives together. I love you. This is the <laughs> best news of the century. I know. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just that. Just forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are my guest. Yeah. Nanyere, you are Majesty. There is no cause for alarm. Everything is on course. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Ichi, Your Majesty. Ududi. We trust your judgment, Your Majesty. But what next should we do? 
So I'll speak with my sister and then um, I'll tell you what we agreed upon. But be rest assured that she'll marry your nephew. <laughs> Thank you for your sounding assurance, Your Majesty. Yeah. You're welcome. I am a man of my words and I intend to keep this very one. Over time, you have proven to be a man of your words and we have no doubt on what you have promised to do. You know, I like it when people remind me who I am. Um, Your Majesty, so when are we expecting to hear from you? Uh, let's see, by weekend. By then, I would have had a, an in-depth conversation with her, and then the process of you getting married with her would have been set in motion. Uh, this is the best news of my life, and I am glad this is coming directly from you, Ezo Klishi himself. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> On that note, I have to be on my Oh, fine. Go well. Oh. All right. May the God be with you. Thank you. Thank you. In too many ways, the princess is destroying herself. You're right, but the fact is that she doesn't know what she's doing. The princess knows what she's doing. We are the one who do not understand what she's doing. I don't need to understand her, but let me tell you a piece of my mind. I am waiting for her at a particular junction. <laughs> what baffles me is that the king is not doing anything to stop her. On the contrary, the king is actually doing something. But she's not the princess now, she's very stubborn and doesn't listen to anybody at all. If she's stubborn, she's not stubborn. It's none of my business. But let the king assert his authorities on her. That's the right thing to do. You're right, Ezine. Yes. You're very right. Because if it were to be a commoner, maybe by now the person must have been dead or the vigilante must have died with the person. So let the king do something. Of course. You're right. <sighs> Ezine, mm? you said you waited for her somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We are exactly if I'm an ox. Yeah, we're asking the same thing. Well, it's best known to me. I am not letting it out to anybody huh? until that time is right for me to vent my anger on her. <laughs> Just don't pitch yourself against the princess, so you know she's a very dangerous person. Relax. Relax. No she's not the only person that is mad. Okay? I will show her that I am. Not upstairs. Isn't he, isn't he? Yes. No no <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see how it goes. But I hope it's going to go well. See then. All right. Mm -hmm. See ya. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Stand on on this and that's final. If you do not shut your mouth, I will give you a dirty slap. My husband, please take it easy. We can actually have a decent conversation without anger. Ebubene, don't push me. If you push me, I will pounce on you like a lion and you will not know what hits you. Can I ask you a question, brother? His Majesty. Ezo Gilis of Omori Kingdom. That is how you will address me henceforth. Because I can see that you calling me brother has made you forget I am the king of this kingdom. You're dragging this thing too, man. I don't like it. We're just having a normal discussion for crying out loud. Yes, we were. We were having a normal discussion until you came in with the disgusting part. If you're upset, if you're upset, then I'm, I'm sorry. Go tell that to Nanyere, not me. I wouldn't do that. Wait, I, are you 
you going to force me to marry someone I don't like? Is this, is this girl possessed or what? Yeah. What is wrong with you, Ebubene? Over ten men have come for your hand in marriage in seven months. And you have turned all of them down. Is this how you expect to carry on? Nothing is absolutely wrong. Then why do you keep turning all of them down? Because I don't like them. Simple. I don't like them. I put it to you that you must marry Nanyere. And that is fine now. My queen. Did you hear him? Did you hear what he just said? Take it easy. I'm sure the king will align with you. Are you sure he's ever going to accept it? I'm very sure. I mean, you weren't expecting him to clap for you at first. It is good that you're showing your insistence on not doing his path. Soon he won't have a choice but accept. All right? Lord, I can't I'll just try and hang on. Rejected food yesterday night because of her. And my question is, are you really going to continue like this? I love the princess. And she means the world to me. We know you love her. But you cannot punish yourself because the princess turned you down. But there are so many beautiful ladies in this queen we kingdom now. You can choose one and marry and move on with your life. But brother, there are so many ladies in this Umuri kingdom and beyond. Hmm? They can choose one and marry and move on with your life. Princess, or no one else. Brother, that is the kind of word I would not like to hear in this kind of situation. Well, let's not go into argument at this moment. But wait, too. What's the reason for turning you down? She does not give me any tangible reason. Just like that, she said she was no longer interested in the marriage. Yes. That means something is wrong somewhere. What do you mean by that? But well, she was the one that asked you to come with Uncle Famaka to make her int your intentions known to the family, right? Yes. All of a sudden, she turned you down. Honestly, this is not right, Papa. You just told the messengers of the king who came to fetch you that you are not going to the palace to answer. Ah, oh, Papa. Why would you have a problem with that? Hey. No, would you have preferred I lied to them by telling them that I was coming when I had no such intention of going to the palace? Listen, I already communicated to the king what he must do. And as long as he is not willing to do that, he should stop sending messages to come and fetch me. Hey. Because I am not going to answer. Hey, Papa. Papa, you cannot bear grudges against the royal family forever. Every war has a termination date, unless if you want to make this particular war an endless one. Please, Father. Please. Find a way in your heart to forgive whatever the princess has done wrong and resume your duties at the palace as the ruler of this land. You know, you know, the more you speak, 
The more it downs on me that you don't even understand what is going on. But I just stated the obvious. What you stated is very far from the obvious. Simple. I give up. Please, Papa. Can you please enlighten my ignorance as regards to this? Ego. The only thing I am going to tell you is that I am not at war with the royal family. Then why have you jettisoned your sacred duties as the Onowu of this kingdom in the palace? Why? Okay. Did you try to find out why she turned you down in such a way? Not yet. But don't you think it's wise to find out why? You are right. I intend to do that. But we should help you do that. Don't worry. I will do that myself. Brother, we care about you. And I still suggest you move on. <sighs> At this point, I am done with this conversation. You are our only brother. And we feel your pain so much. Stop making it look like we are disturbing you. Jetachi. Brother. And Sumto. Brother. At this point, I want to be left alone. We will oblige you. But can you at least come and eat your food? I am not hungry. Why are you doing this to yourself now? You have not eaten and you are drinking. Not to know you will develop us through this. Seems both of you don't want me to have peace in this house. You can stay. Hey, what is this? Does it mean you cannot leave me to have some peace in my own house? How can I, father? How can I, with what has just happened, you expect me to still believe you are not at war with the royal family? I am not just expecting you to believe. I am telling you here and now as your father and as the Onowu of this kingdom that I am not at war with the royal family. They know what I have asked them to do. What I have asked them to do is the right thing. And until they do it, I am not going back to that palace. Hi. Our kingdom is sacred and no one can rename. Our kingdom is sacred and no one can rename. So we fight with all of our strength. Hello darling, how are you today? I'm close to your heart. And you? <laughs> I'm fine. Just that. What? I don't need to voice it out, okay? I know you already know what's up. I'm home. And I'm home alone. Why don't you just come around and we can have fun together? Oh, that sounds very romantic. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> okay, so I just have a few things to tidy up, and afterwards, I'll be with you. Wow, I can't wait to be in the garage. Okay, I'm same here. Make sure you remain in the mood, okay? Until I see you. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. And she don't want to let it go. Do you think no woman do win this battle? I think so. On my own part, I don't think he's going to win the battle. Why do you say that? We all know how powerful the king is. 
he inherited his intimidating presence and authority from his late father. And no one, I repeat, no one in this kingdom says no to him whenever he takes a stand on something. You are right, Sindidi. But no one is fighting for a just cause. He's fighting for the good of his land. We know. And that is why I pray he doesn't abandon what he's demanding for. Because we may be heading towards doom if the king insists on not going for cleansing. <laughs> a time is coming where we will all go for a protest. <laughs> That's the least the king will tolerate in this kingdom. You're right. But he's indirectly pushing us towards that direction. The people's opinion matters and it counts. But if they are overruled by the king, they might revolt. <laughs> I pray it doesn't get to that. Honestly. <sighs> Nanyere. Your Majesty. I sent for you. Yes. I'm thinking. Don't you think it will be good that you have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the princess to know where she stands in all of this? Your Majesty, I have tried all my best to do that. I even called her through her yesterday. She did not pick my call. Why? I don't know, Your Majesty. Did you try sending her a text message? I did, Your Majesty. She blocked me even on WhatsApp. Okay, it's okay. You just go out to the real garden and wait. She'll join you there shortly. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Really and while you're there, the maidens will offer you whatever you need as you wait. I really appreciate Your Majesty. If you do this for me, I will continue to hold you in high esteem. My king. <sighs> Nayere, don't worry. I see you as a good man. And my sister will definitely marry you. I'll see to that. Okay? Thank you. You can wait for her. My princess. Can I call you the juice? Uh, no. Can I leave? No. Can you, can you please turn around? Like 360, yes. Uh-huh. Slowly. Oh, okay. My princess, if you don't mind, let me go and check what I have on fire before it's step money. Really? Yes, my princess. Okay, you can you can go and check your food, but please make sure you come back at night. Thank you, my princess. 10 p.m. prompt. All right, my Don't forget. Okay. <sighs> oh. I never knew she was this in doubt. <sighs> what is going on? You promised to make everything smooth for me. And I am keeping to my promise. No, you are not. By now you're supposed to have convinced the king to allow the princess live her life to fullest. See, what we are doing is international best practice. It does not contradict any law. I know. But our tradition forbids it. And you know it. Oh, to hell with tradition. The Western world has accepted it, embraced it. I don't know what is wrong with Africa, that they find it very difficult to impress. That's the challenge we're going to face. 
Honestly, I don't like the way you are sounding right now. How do you mean? You are the queen. Talk the king into accepting and approving my marriage with the princess. Yes, you can as well talk him into, into creating a new law in Umori that will allow same sex marriage. Simple. You did not just say that. Exactly what you heard me say. And that is what I want you to do. I would not do that. Why? Because it is against our belief. It's the exact opposite of what our people believe in. Ijego, we had an agreement. Remember? I am a woman of many sides. Do not push me. Greetings, Your Majesty. How did it go? Do you know we said we should tell you that you know he cannot come to the palace now? Okay, you may go. You're just making this whole thing look like I am not doing my best. I am. The thing is, you're not targeting any lady. Your target is the princess whose brother, the king, does not play down on tradition. I have already made it clear to you. To be honest, I am not happy. I do not want to have any issues with you. I'll keep trying my best to ensure that your desire is accomplished. That is what I want to hear. I know that's what you want to hear. Can I go now? I have not offered you anything. Does it look like I want to take anything? And it looks like you are angry because I told you the truth. No. I'm angry because you misunderstood me. Okay, fine. There is no need of anyone being angry. Now, we have an understanding, right? See you some other time. Alright. Have a nice day. I will keep pushing until I get my heart desire. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah. Should I? Oh, oh, don't worry, sir. Don't worry, sir. Oh, thank, thank you, sir. So, uh, you're welcome. Thank you. To the best of my knowledge, you have been informed about the guest waiting for you at the Royal Garden. Why haven't you gone to see him? I have not gone to see him because I am not expecting any guests. This particular guest has already received a real welcome from the King. You cannot keep him waiting. What is going on? What exactly is going on? Why are you forcing me to see a guest I don't want to see? Why? If you must forget everything, Ibubeni. Do not forget I am king. And I speak to you as king. You will go to that garden. You will see that man. And make sure you have a fruitful discussion. Pushing someone down my throat. Is it by force? Is it by force to get married to someone I don't want to get married to? Let's not do what I am thinking. Why would a woman look at her fellow woman and lick her lips? Why are you talking like a kid? Eh? Let me tell you. The spirit of lesbianism has gone deep into her system. <laughs> I'm not part of this discussion now. Why are you hiding from the truth? See, this <sighs> thing has gone deep into her. I am still shocked. 
Where in this world did she learn that from? I don't know. And I don't even want to talk about this ever again. So, what are you going to do? Like, I am still confused. If I tell you I'm not confused, I'm a big liar. <sighs> Well, let us not conclude yet until you go and see her later. That's true. I'm afraid I can't go back there. Ah, you have to. You have to. She's right. Eh? She's the princess. You are just a maid, so you cannot disobey her words. Babes, with what I saw back there, going in there would be a grave mistake for me. She will do something silly and nasty. You're just imagining this all. Because I have never heard that a woman raped her fellow woman. I have never. And I'm not going to be one. God forbid. It can never be my portion. Calm down. Huh? Calm down. Let's not just sit here and conclude. Okay? When you go there later, you will know. Then, you both will go with me. Eh? Please, I'm not going with you. Same here. You have to go alone because I'm not going anywhere with you. Yes, and you had a problem. I don't understand. Why will you ever understand? Because you have chosen to go blind. No, 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 no. No doubt. There is a problem somewhere. Please, my love, can you talk to me? <sighs> and that is exactly the reason I am here. To talk to you. I want to ask you a very simple question. Do you know what it is to be married? I mean, do you know what it is? You have an idea what it is for someone to be fully married. Of course I know. And that is why I have indicated interest in making you my wife. Oh, stop that bullshit. Your wife indeed. Even your wildest imagination. I, Princess Ebubene, will never get married to you. Do you think I am one of these maidens in the kingdom where you want to get married or you get married to them against their wishes? I, Princess Ebubene, will never get married to you. Honestly, my love, I am surprised with all of this. I thought we both have already crossed the stage. In your dreams. The earlier you wake up, the better for you because I will never get married to you. Princess, you are words are most confusing. Can you talk to me and let me understand where is this coming from? You see, um, I've forgotten that your name again. I've always known you to be a man with fish brain. Huh? I mean, little fish brain. And you've just confirmed it. Yes. What? Yes. Princess. No matter what, Onyeze, the king of Umuri must not be kept standing. Can you please come inside and I can assure you that there are no women no we have the right color to present to a man of your status. And you think I'll be inclined to eat cola with your no woman, though? Considering whom you have become lately? Well, I am still the Sinzenoza of this kingdom. And no matter the problem, no matter what it is that has erupted, the one who is already on Yenze must sit down and eat cola. Eh? I'm a good one. It's okay. You can bring the cola, but I'm not following you inside your house. We can do it here. We can do it here. Princess, I didn't just wake up and came here with my people. We actually sat and talked about this, and you were the one that advised me to come with them. You pressed me beyond limit, and I simply said what you wanted to hear. Wait a minute. 
You mean you never meant any of that? From the deepest part of my heart, considering the build-up and the sorry chemistry between us, <laughs> you shouldn't have expected anything otherwise. Yes, I meant every single word that I said. Princess, does it mean you have been fooling me all this while? If that's how you see it, then it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I was only having fun chatting with you. Yes. Princess, does it ever occur to you that I love you? And you mean everything to me. Does it? <laughs> oh. Permit me to say you're living in fool's paradise. Yes. I guess you are teasing me. Teasing you? Uh, yes, of course. Mm, no, I'm not. Uh, princess, if this is a joke, you better stop it. We are not playmates. And I simply can't leave my busy shadows to come sit here and play with you. So no, it's not a joke. But princess, why? <sighs> you see, my dear, it's been a long time coming. And I think this is the appropriate time for me to tell you. It is over between us. Yes. And as we are talking right now, I have moved on. And I expect you to do the same. Please move on. Um, princess, I understand that you are not on the right frame of mind. And I will give you time to think about the love that I have for you. I will pay you a visit later. Okay? No. There is no need revisiting because I, Princess Ebu Bene, I do not have anything to think about. So please, do not come back here. Princess, I'm seriously in love with you and I want you to think about this place. Please do later. <sighs> this guy is still dreaming. I pray he wakes up soon. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. All those who claim to love the kingdom must show it in their actions. Kai go na nsu kai na go na oji. Ibe de mo yapo na jiru. Ibe de mo ibe de mo. You say, oh yes, I'm from oji. You can take your color. Oh yes, not just because you are you are oh yes, you are actually the king of Umuri, and this is your entitlement. Eh? Now we can go straight to the reason I'm here. Actually, any decision can now start. Oh no. You need to come back to the palace. So many things have been left unattended to because of your absence. <laughs> you know, I knew that was your destination when you were praying on the sacred inzu. And you were saying that all those who claim they love this kingdom should show it in their actions. I am going to tell you right away that I love this kingdom. Even our ancestors, when they are consulted on the caduces of Ugili, will confirm to you that I can die for this kingdom. The issue is I am one man who will always insist that the right things must be done at all times. And that is the case here. What you are asking is very difficult to know. Why is it difficult? Eyebrows will be raised. People will want to know what's going on. And that very secret we are trying to keep to our hearts will be in the open. Well, I need to let you understand that I am one man who will not be part of any secret that is going to destroy. I will not keep it. The princess has committed an abomination. And for us to move on as a people, she must have to submit herself for cleansing. And that is what I am insisting on. Can I ask you a question or no? Go ahead. Do you have any personal problem with the princess? Well, the princess is too small to have a problem with a man like me. So why are you insisting she must go for cleansing? Well, I am not just insisting on the princess going for cleansing. The cleansing is actually for the entire royal household. Does that include me? 
With all due respect on yesterday, the answer is yes. You must be joking. No, I am not joking. I am telling you what is going to happen. The cleansing must take place for us to move on as a people. Oh no, I know what you want. And I make you a promise that we will move on as a people. We will do what is right. Just come back to the palace. No, Your Majesty. Are you saying we will not hold our festival of Nchekwa War? The festival must surely hold. <laughs> this is the year for the festival. And it must hold because it is a creation of our ancestors and it must be respected by all. No. I am king. I know. And I implore you, let's put all of this behind us and forge ahead. Come back to the palace. Well, the only way we can forge ahead, like you said, is that the cleansing must take place in line with the way our forefathers planned it. She must be cleansed. And after the cleansing, then the festival we hold. That is the only way it will be a blessing to our women and not something that is going to destroy them. Where have you been? I've been asking questions about the princess. I don't understand. Why are you asking questions about her? I want to know the reason why she rejected her brother the way she did. So were you able to find out why? Yes, of course. Nice one. Tell me. Where is Brother Nayeli? He went to the palace to see the princess. Okay. Anyway, Brother will not marry the princess. Why? The princess is in two women. I don't understand. There's nothing there to understand though. The princess is a lesbian. And not just a lesbian, a cold one that doesn't allow men to near her. What? Chetachi, you just spoke an abomination against the princess of this kingdom. You know me very well. I don't say what I don't know. But who told you this? That one is not a problem now. The issue now is our brother will not marry a lesbian. Please, let me help you and pick the point. Okay. Oh. Yes, come in. Hmm. Why? Good afternoon. How are you? Mm -hmm. I have told you to stop addressing me with that. Address me, sweetheart. You are my baby. And you shouldn't address me with that, okay? Okay. Always call me sweetheart. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> Come on, come here. Come, sit. Sit on How are you? Did you miss me? Eh? <laughs> okay, what do I offer you? Something that will get you into the mood. I don't want anything. Oh. Okay, so. Show me what. Is in these clothes that you tie so so hold on. Why? What if the princess walks in on us? What will you do? I have told you to stop talking about the princess whenever we are together. I know, it's just that I can't stop talking about the princess, knowing fully well that you're cheating on me with the princess. Are we going to talk about the princess all day? Is that why you're here? No, but it hurts me so much that you're sharing me with someone. I'm sorry. You know you're my baby. And I love you so much. 
Okay. Very soon. I will do away with the princess and concentrate only on you. Wow. Is that a promise? Yes. <laughs> it's a promise, my love. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Now you can smile for me and be happy for me. <laughs> I'm happy that you are happy now. Now I can now drink something. Wow, you can now drink. Fine. Let me go get your glass cup. Okay. But before I do that, you can keep yourself busy with my own glass, okay? Okay. Drink. Get one. Be a good girl. For me, okay? Sleeping away what life is practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. Why did she turn you down all of a sudden? Today. You can't believe the reason she gave. Reason? Yes. Okay. Talk to me. I'm listening. Man. She said she never meant everything she was telling me. What kind of joke is that? I was shocked when she said that to my face. Was she drunk during the conversation? I was already sitting at the palace garden when she came into the conversation. But did you... Did did you make out time to find out what the problem could be? Judy, I tried my best, but I couldn't lay my hands on anything. This is sounding confusing. I'm sorry, seriously, I'm more confused in here. Eh? No, it, um, it hasn't gotten to the point of you being confused here. Maybe you go back to her on a later date. Maybe by then her anger must have subsided. Judy, what you are saying now is exactly what I suggested. But the prince said, said it direct to my face that there is no hope on me coming back to that palace. <laughs> I disagree with you on that. You go back to her. Who knows if she's trying to test your love for her? <laughs> my brother, my brother. Um, um, Jude, I will just make up my mind and go back to that place the way you are saying it here. But Princess herself made me understand that there is no hope of me coming back to the palace. You we'll go back. <laughs> Just start up the car, let's go. Yeah, we'll try my best. We'll try my best. Mm. That, that girl is really giving me trouble. I need to start going. Are you sure you don't want to spend the night here? No. Why? My parents will surely look for me. That's right. Okay. Take a bundle of money from the drawer there. And take care of yourself. But I haven't spent the one you gave me the last time. Don't tell me you still haven't spent that money. I haven't spent it. You see the reason why I don't need any more money. I insist. It's my money. Take it. Add it to the one you already have. You are my baby. <laughs> okay. Wow. All this for me? Yes. And you will have some more. As long as you're going to remain a good girl. I will remain a good girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> come on, come here. Come on, give mommy a hug. Come. <laughs> Bye. That your friend now, Kichi. Okay, okay. Eh? What happened? I went there. The mother, if you see what the mother, how the mother is even talking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I all the time, she's your friend. She's your friend. She, see it I now. Advise her now. So Advi I should leave the girl now. Ad advise so, who? Uh, me advice. Yes, now. Nah. Now who, who will advise me? 
She's a friend now, so I'll buy her. Listen, listen. She spent maximum 49 minutes in there. What are they even doing inside that place? Do I know? Well, I tend to know. Let's go and find out. No. But you, I thought you said you want to know. Uh -huh. If we go in there now, it will look suspicious. Maybe another time. Okay. Let's go. I want to discuss something with you, brother. Go ahead and say what you want to say. I don't know how you would take it, but it's the truth. You say what you want to say, I'm listening. The princess is a lesbian. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you have something meaningful to say. I guess you don't believe her. Of course I don't believe her. Or do you expect me to believe what she just said? But it's the truth, brother. I am done with this conversation. No, brother, you cannot continue professing love to a chronic lesbian. Are you mad? There are other good girls out there. Are you mad? Hey, some dude. No, are you sick or something? You are calling the woman that wants to marry a, 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 a lesbian. Is something wrong with you? Be very, very careful with me. Well, this is not the time to raise voice. So. Have you for once asked yourself why she rejected you the way she did? Princess did not reject me and she will never reject me. You better wake up from this wild dream of yours, brother. You better wake up. Hmm. From what I see, there is nothing you will do in this life that will make her marry you. I can see both of you are trying to get me upset. But I will just pretend as if I did not hear what you guys are trying to say against the love of my life. Brother, why are you finding it difficult to believe us? Or do you think we are talking bad about her? I am not just thinking it because that is what you are doing. Far from me, brother. I am hungry. Is there food in this house? Yes. Come in and prepare something good for me to eat. I'm still bringing all this unnecessary lesbianism allegation. I don't want to hear this nonsense here again. Come in and prepare something for me to eat immediately. He's madly in love with the princess. And this will take a lot to pull him out of it. Anyway, we'll still be talking to him. I, I pray he will change his mind too. She's sleeping away what life is. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She learns from the wisdom world. Is it a boy in our own? Look at the beautiful one. How are you? You asked to see me. Look at the last time we spoke, I asked you for something. I was expecting by now you might have, you know, thought about what I said and give me. I did, unless you didn't understand what I meant. Uh, no, no, no. Doka, the answer you gave me that day was void. It wasn't acceptable. That was why I told you to go and think about it. And by now, I thought you might have gone through it and give me a good answer. My dear, I was very blunt that day. There is nothing to think about. Doka, see. Yes. Udoko, I love you. All I ask is for you to give me the chance to prove that I love you. Give me the chance in your life. I don't love you. And I will never, ever, ever love you. Udoka, please. Honyega, we are here to work and serve the royal family. I'm not to initiate 
A relationship that will lead us to nowhere. Listen, let me tell you. You should be thinking on how to improve your life. I'm not thinking of a woman to make your girlfriend. Okay. It's not down. right. Okay, calm down. See, maybe I need to explain further. The family I came from, I'm the only male child. And by now, I'm, a, I'm expected to start raising family. You see, I'm not just asking <laughs> for you to be my girlfriend. Eh? We're still beating about the bush. What exactly do you want? Marriage, Udoka. Marriage. Oh! See, I'm looking for a woman oh. to settle down with. And I've found a person in you. <laughs> Honestly. Indeed. You're a big dreamer. Fine, if that is how you see it. So please, would you do me the honor to be my wife? Hmm. Chinekenna. Chinekenna. Why do people like creating problems for themselves? Hmm? With which resources are you going to raise the so-called family you want to start? Eh? Listen, we all earn the same salary every month. Understand? So, we are just a maid servant in this palace. Udoka. Eh? See, stop saying things this way. You never can tell when the door to success will open. Who knows? And meanwhile, I have discussed with the king a couple of times, and he is talking about increasing my salary. You see? <laughs> you and the king have been talking about increasing salary. Right on, bravo. Keep on dreaming. Oh, you're a big dreamer. Keep on. Son, look at her behind is enough to get me into a dream of never return. Imagine Udoka as my wife. Hmm. Some girls, they fail to understand certain things in life. It's, they fail to see the future. They always think one will remain in poverty. I will keep pushing my luck. Brother, you cannot continue professing love to a chronic Are you mad? 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 Brother, this is not the way to go about this. What are you talking about? Brother, think about what sometimes I told you about the princess. Draw interference on it and decide on what to do about it. And who told you about the princess's involvement in lesbianism? I've been hearing it from so many people. But Amoge confirmed it herself. That's why I believed what she said. If this is coming from Amoge, that means it's not true. Why are you making that assertion? Because Amoge and her friends hate princess to the core. The information Amoge gave me about the princess doesn't have anything to do with the way she feels about that. What she said is the truth. Did you confirm with her whether she was caught red-handed or something? Why would I ask her when she has confirmed it herself? She cannot say what she's not sure of. Okay. Please, can you help me and ask them? I want to be sure before taking any action. If that's what you want, I will ask her. Thank you so much. I'm about leaving the house. I remember to come back on time. I will. But what about the money you promised me? Go to my room. 
Open the drawer very close to my bed. You will see some money there. Take 10,000 already and go and get yourself what you want. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Don't forget to come back on time. I will. We have comforted our brother about this. Huh. And what did he say? The way he reacted to us, it made it appear as if all the allegation is false. Come on, Shetashi. Don't even say that. A cousin of mine was a victim. How do you mean? The princess nearly raped her in the palace. It was the Onowo's arrival that saved her. If not for the Onowo, she would have been raped. This is your cousin. Is she actually a lesbian? She went there innocently and the princess came on her. I don't know why my brother Nanyelo will not listen to us. I don't know why. You must do everything to cut her off from your brother. If not, she will destroy him. Why is she not returning? Me, yeah, I don't know. Do you think the princess is taking advantage of her? How? What do you suggest? Well, I think you should go and check on her. Because she might be in danger. Who knows? I think the princess cannot trust her. Who made you say so? She will not take it easy with the princess. I mean. Why is the princess doing this? Eh? There are handsome guys in this kingdom and beyond that she can just take anyone and date. I mean, why is she doing this? Well, I think at this point, lesbianism has gone deep into the princess and it will be very difficult to pull it out. Hmm. Maybe we should just report all these things to the king. The king is fully aware of what she's doing. <laughs> But there was a time she promised the king that she was never ever going to do it again. Well, thank God you said there was a time she said because she has started again. And since she has started, we have to tell the king. Let us update the king also because if she should finish with her now, she will come for another person. <laughs> and before you know, we will all fall victim. So God forbid you. Ha! Before God will forbid it, we need to go and speak up. <laughs> exactly, but let's just wait here and see what happened. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. She learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and tradition. And I'm a science or something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land. I'm going to wait here for Entire meal. What is all we can do? And it's a big offense for anyone to invade the princess. But we cannot allow the princess to abuse her. And bully any one of us now. Uh uh. Well, I think gift is right. Because if you should confront the prisoners, right, you'll be seen as. Doka! What happened to you? Doka! What happened to you? It is obvious the prisoners wanted to take advantage of her. What is all this? The princess is an animal. She sees lesbianism as nothing. Udoka, what has really happened? Uh, I am not in the mood to explain anything to anyone. 
Here comes the most beautiful girl in this kingdom. Anaka, you've started again. Why are you not flattering me now? Do I look like the most beautiful girl in this kingdom? Says who? Says me! You are not in the right position to judge or to decide who is the most beautiful. Well, neither is it in your own position to decide who is the most beautiful. I am like a spectator. So, I'm the right position to judge. Hmm. Adaka, you know what? I really don't have strength, okay? You've won. You've won. Hmm? I don't want to argue. You've won. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, why did you ask to see me? No, I have to be straight with you. Mm -hmm. I have fallen in love with you. What? I know you will be surprised. Of course I am. But that is the truth. Hmm. Okay, tell me, how long have you been nursing these feelings? For the very first day, I set my eyes on you. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I like it. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Meaning you and I can be friends, right? Of course, we're friends already. I mean, you and I in a relationship. Um, no, hell no. I have a boyfriend. Yes. But we can still be friends now. We can be friends. You know, I like you. I like the fact that you, you're you funny. I like you. We are friends like that. I have a boyfriend. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you not giving me this mood now? It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. I can go. Sure. Cheer up now. What are you doing? Okay, bye. See you. Mommy, Daddy, please, can you go with me? My love, don't worry. The guard will take you there, all right? But you promised. Some other time, okay? Good girl, good girl, okay? Give me a kiss. Don't worry, I will take you there, okay? Be a good girl, promise me. Good. Oyeka, please stay with her. Alright. Bye bye. <laughs> You didn't tell me the outcome of your meeting with the Omo. The man is still insisting on the cleansing he's been hammering on. Why? Why is he being that stubborn? Or does he have any personal interest in this? The man is only doing his job. I don't see anything wrong with that. He has to stop. He's pushing this too much. He can't keep pushing any further. Same thing I told him, but he refused to listen. He's insisting. Then you move on without him. In my point, another no. The entire kingdom cannot be pinned down because a no is demanding for what doesn't concern him. I cannot do it. In this kingdom, an no can only be sacked when it has been established that his actions are against the interests of the kingdom. And the heads of the whole villages must be part of it. In this case, he is for the kingdom. We cannot force him. If we attempt to do that, it will boomerang. That means he's holding everyone to ransom. Well, whatever way you see it, we can only plead and negotiate and hope that he's of pedals. I don't like this. I'm beginning to see this like... Um, a way of holding the entire royal kingdom to ransom and it's not going down well with me. 
you need to understand that apart from being you know of this great kingdom, he is my very personal friend by the virtue of being the head of the Nzenozo. We can only continue to negotiate with him and hope that he comes around. How did he go? Well, look, exactly as I thought. What did you tell him? The truth, of course. Wishes? In a relationship, you know. In a relationship with who? He's open up a question as this one. Uh -uh. A question that requires an answer. Because I don't know you to be in a relationship. If I thought I told you my boyfriend lives abroad. Boyfriend what? The boyfriend that stopped calling you three months after he traveled. And this is three years down the line. And he has not contacted you. Well, I feel maybe things are just a bit difficult with him. Boy, he will come around. I know that is what you are going to say. But what if he has died? Oh, forbid. Why will you say such a thing? If we don't give an example with death, it will appear as if death has stopped killing people. Can we change this topic? No. Let's deal with it once and for all. Yeah. Angole, you are wasting here for nothing. Give another relationship a space and see what becomes of your life. Well, I don't blame you. I blame myself. She was the one that opened my mouth and told you I am in a relationship. I told you my boyfriend lives overseas. That's why you have the, the nerve to open your mouth and say rubbish. But it's too rude. People have not called me ever since he left. Keep you for too long. Oh, not at all. <laughs> the drink kept me company in your absence. And I hope the drink did not replace me in your heart. Oh, never. <laughs> you know you are in replace several, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just wanted to be sure. Okay, so, what is the good news all about? <sighs> the festival of Nchepuagbo is around the corner. And as a princess of Umori Kingdom, I am expected to lead the festival. I am disappointed hearing this from me. Why? I just told you that the festival is around the corner. And as a princess, I'm expected to perform certain rites. So I don't know why you're disappointed in me doing my job. Whatever it is, they have brainwashed you with. In the name of festival, it's dirty and fetish act. And I don't want you to be part of it. Oh, come on, baby. You're misunderstanding the whole thing. Look, this festival is not fetish or dirty in any way. It is. But I said, I don't want you to be part of it. My love, I think you're misunderstanding the whole thing, and I will explain to you. <laughs> Why put yourself explaining? My love, I said I don't want you to be part of this. Is that too difficult for you to do? <sighs> Listen, <sighs> during this festival, I, the princess, will stand barefooted before the Onyowa sacred tree and make supplications for the women of Umuri Kingdom. Doing this at the appointed date, we stamp my authority amongst the women and earn me a lot of respect. If I am respected, does that not extend to you? We just mentioned all the enticing part of the tradition, but you have not mentioned 
that you will be standing half naked before the sacred tree of Onua, and the entire world will see your nakedness. Come on, babe. I don't know where you're getting this from. I am not going to be half naked or going naked before anyone. Listen, during this festival, I, the princess, will be well decorated and adorned with the ancient Jigida, which is going to cover my hips and my chest. So trust me, I'm not going to go half naked before anyone. And your loves. And your stomach will be exposed for the whole world to see. And those nonsense women, and even the men, who all see that part of you. Why? I don't want them to see that part of you, my darling. Please, don't do it. Leave. I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Lady Harlot, or whatever they call you. Leave. You. Anna, Chief Advisor, let me hear you. Onyeka, leave that girl. Go for another. Is that your, your advice? Well, that is not possible for me. <laughs> Ahota, I don't understand. How do you mean? Udoka is, is, is a woman that I, I, I love. I am ready to spend the rest of my life with her. She is the air I breathe. Don't you understand? This same person does not love you. She has told you that she does not love you. What are you going to do? I'll keep hoping. Keep pestering her, disturbing her. And I know that one day she will, she will open her arms for me. <laughs> Onyeka, I laugh at you. This same Udoka, when she says a thing, she sticks to it. So what do you want to do? See, let me tell you. There is something you fail to understand about women in general. Every girl has her breaking point. And I, Onyeka, I am ready to push Udoka to her breaking point. And believe me, when I get there, she must break and she will open up to me. <laughs> Onyeka, I laugh at you again. Let me even ask you, what exactly do you want from this girl? What every sane man wants from a woman? Love, care. What else will I possibly want from her? <laughs> Onyeka, is that all? Yes. I know you too well. I'm a Kwam girl for my, I know you. You will just do away with her the way you have done with other women. You see, that is an aspect of Onyeka that you're getting wrong. Onyeka have changed for Udoka. I am a changed person. See, I love that girl. And she's my final bus stop. Once I get her, I will stop all this numerous girls things you know, <laughs> concentrate so, onyeka yes. i laugh at you again huh? laugh is getting too much okay. yes because you have suddenly become vegetable my boy bobozy because of this girl i think you're right 
And that is to show you that I feel something for her too. That is to show you that the chemistry is working. That is to show you that the change that I talk about is real. Onyeka and Duduka. Even from the name, you can tell there is something. Come on. Okay, let's see. Is it because you have ka 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 eh? in your names? Okay, if you insist, let's see how it goes. I'm not just insisting. My mind is made. Talking about it with you is just... Just talking. There's nothing you say that will change my mind. Have you, have you examined that girl? Have you taken a close look at her back axle? Her behind? If she's moving, everything is moving. She's moving away, my dear. She's moving away, my soul. Ah! You are, you, are, you, are, you are finished already. I know. As if that back as you are talking about, when the action starts, the back as will be on the ground. You won't even look at it. When the time comes. Okay. Yeah. You don't look happy. What is it? Your husband is at it again. <sighs> what did he do? He's just walked out my friend from the palace as if she's a kid. Why? I don't know. My husband, your brother, whom you know so well, would not do such a thing without a reason. I am telling you, he has no reason whatsoever. He hates me so much, and he detests everything that makes me happy. I will speak with my husband, and I'll get back to you. My queen, please speak to your husband. That he should not intimidate my friend. He can intimidate every other person in this community. But never let the child Because I, Princess Ebubena, will not give him that chance to do that. Else, the entire community will gather because of us. Like I said, I'll speak with my husband and we will resolve this amicably. Okay. okay. So now, Cheryl. Don't try. You don't have to try. Put a smile on that face. Hey, look at me. Where is my better? Trust the process, okay? I'll fix it. Yeah. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. To let it go. Oh, she's living a way what life Something she learns from the waste of work. Is it a boo in our own culture and tradition? How far? What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Chew, but I'm not fine. What happened? I just cannot hide my feelings for Uba anymore. <laughs> Wait, do you mean you're actually serious about what you've been telling me about this guy? If I don't mean it, why would I voice it out? Look, at this point, I'm just... I'm helpless. Oh, I guess you were thinking about him yesterday. That was why you forgot the food you had on the fire. Exactly, but how do you know? Eh, through your words and your body language. So what are you going to do now? Chugo, that is where I want you to help me. How do you mean? Please, I need you to help me and talk to him. What? Why? I want my intentions registered on him, but I want you to help me and do it. Ah, 
to see it, 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 it is somehow approaching a guy in this part of the world it, it, it doesn't make sense that is the problem eh? people see these things as, 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 as a crime here but overseas abroad women do these things for people they love well you've not been to overseas before so you don't know how it happens there but it's not a crime now it's not a crime for me to tell him that i love him see the danger of approaching a man in this part of the world is that the guy will not take you serious he will see you as a loose person and and, 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 and somebody that is just there for sex <sighs> But without sincerity, the Uba that I know, he's not that kind of a person. I know him. <laughs> Wait, relax. Please help me. All this thing you're talking about, is it the same Uba that I know? Yes. 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 <sighs> okay. Please. Please. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you and talk to him. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so um, let me just uh, carry on with what I was doing. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> Meddings, finally the festival of Nchepa Boro is here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've heard so much about this festival and I can't wait to experience it. Same here. Same here, my dear. But it's quite unfortunate that the festival may not hold. May not hold? Yes. Why? I told you people that I am waiting for the princess at a particular junction, remember? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, I remember. Yeah. You told me that. We are now at that junction. Come here, Zine. You are confusing us. Can you please talk to us in a language that we can understand what you're talking about? Please. Ndidi, are you the one asking me? You and I know very well that traditionally, the princess leads the charge and other maidens follows. That's exactly what my father told me. And that is exactly where the problem lies. Yes. The princess is a defied woman and cannot be allowed to lead the maidens to the sacred land of Onoa. I personally will not allow that. Never. Yes, I understand you. It's going to be very unfair. I may even attract the anger of the gods if you allow her to lead us to the sacred place of Onoa. Oh. But there could be another way. Indeed. There is no change. There is nothing we can do about it. Wait, 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 maidens. I am becoming more confused. Isn't it? Can you tell me exactly why you think the princess is unholy? Because I don't understand what you're talking about. My dear friend, your father, the mm -hmm. Ono, is in the better position to answer this question. Really? Yes, of course. In that case, I'm going to ask my father and hear what he has to say in regards to this. And what if the princess insists on leading the charge? What will happen? <laughs> a toad does not run in the daylight for nothing. If it's not after something, then something is chasing it. <sighs> there will be a very serious problem. A big problem. We are going to scatter everywhere. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Um, are we all prepared to go to war with the princess? We all know how mean she can be. I don't understand you. How mean she can be? Are you trying to discourage us? We are not in this alone. All the maidens of this land are involved. And believe me, she can't win us in this. Never. <laughs> Never. Your Majesty, I I actually wanted to have a discussion with you, but since you're busy, I 
think I'll just um, say it some other time. No, no, it's fine. It's okay. What is it about? <clears throat> it's about your sister. What about my sister? I feel you should allow her to live her life. I mean, she's come of age and she can make decisions herself. I don't understand you. Stop domineering her. Allow her to follow her heart. I don't believe this is coming from you. How could you subscribe to this? Calm down, your majesty. Don't tell me to calm down! If your mother had married another woman, would they have given birth to you? Your majesty, come on. What she's asking for is being internationally practiced by the men and women who brought civilization to us. They had a test run on it and it was okay and they are doing it. So I mean, there's nothing wrong if she also does it. The worst thing you can ever do as a queen of an African kingdom is to jettison our life and culture and live by the standard of others. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying you no longer believe in civilization? We are Africans. Not just Africans. We are an African royal family. And we know what the standards of marriage is. A man gets married to a woman and they build a family. If my father were alive, he would never allow his daughter marry another woman. So you read my lips. I won't allow that. All right, okay. But I will... There are no buts here. This is final. I will not allow that. And then you go tell Lady Charlotte that I don't ever want to see her in this palace again. The next time I set my eyes on her in this palace, I will curse her with the offer of my forefathers. Your Majesty, are you going to involve the offer in this? He hasn't gotten to that. I wish to be left alone. I don't want to continue further with this discussion. Just like that? In any case, if you want to continue with the discussion, we can just talk about us, nothing else. You know I don't like to disobey you. But you always push me to the wall. I'm sorry, my dear, but this is really irritating. You know I don't like to get you angry myself, but then you just keep lowering yourself to the standards of classless people only in the name of trying to fight for them. This should stop. Please. Okay? Ego, how long will it take for father to come back? I don't know. Would you maidens rather go and come back later? Uh, Ezine is in the position to answer that question. Ah, yes. I just finished call with Ono now. Really? Yes. And what did he say? He's on his way coming. Oh, great. That means there will be no need for you to go and return later. Who made that suggestion in the first place? We are not going anywhere. Father! Greetings, Omo. Greetings, Omo. Greetings, the beautiful maidens of my land. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for so long. No, no. Hey, go, you didn't offer them anything. I did, Father. They are done. Oh, they are done? Yes. And they are looking as if they are not done. <laughs> okay, can you adjust? Can you adjust, adjust a bit? Yes. So can we get down to the business? Let's get down to it immediately. Yes, no, no. It's all about the festival of Nchekwabo, which comes up every 10 years. And as the maidens of this land, we want to get things done and right. That's why we are here. 
Well, it will depend on what you mean by getting it right. And equally, it will depend on what you ladies have planned. But there is something I need to let you know. The festival we are talking about has a standard. A standard established by our ancestors that it must follow. And as the owner who of this kingdom, I am insisting that we must maintain that standard in this very festival. Oh no, based on what you just said, I don't think the princess will lead the charge. She is defied and cannot be allowed to lead the maidens to the sacred land of Onyawa. No. And she can't be allowed to make progressive comments for the maidens. Well, I need you to understand that as the princess who is already above 18 years in that palace, she is the one who is qualified to lead the charge for the prayers for the festival. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She don't want to let it go. She's living a way of life. Something she learns from the wisdom. Hello. I believe you heard exactly what happened today. What happened? Please, don't give me that pretense. You know exactly what I'm talking about, so don't pretend to me. Please! Of what use would pretending be to me at this juncture? I was at the palace minutes ago. Oh, you were? That means you left. I left against my will. If you didn't leave of your own free will, how then did you leave? Your husband, the king, asked me to leave. What? Why? Well, I fear he still sees me. As a bad influence to his sister. Ah, oh, come on, Lady Charlotte. Far from that, what the king actually thinks is that. And that is exactly what it is. See, Queen, you are not doing your job. And I don't like it at all. I am doing my job. Trust me. I've been trying so hard to do everything possible to make the king understand what you both feel for each other and also give him reasons to see why you should marry the princess. And what did he say when you said that to him? You know exactly what he would say. But the most important thing here is that I have started the conversation. <sighs> you are not doing your job. Trust me, you are not doing your job at all. I insist that I am doing my job. The fact is, the king is just being very stubborn, but I know that if you give him time, he'd have no choice but accept. Queen, that time is what I don't have. I want my marriage with the princess to hold as soon as possible. And everything about that marriage is in your hands. Ah, uh, I can't guarantee you anything right now. But like I said, I'll keep talking to the king. Goodbye. <sighs> I know she thinks I'm lying. Oh, God knows I am doing my very best. I don't know why the king is just being stubborn. You should just let these people express what they both feel for each other. I know it. I know she will fail me when it's her time to return the favor. I know. Oh no, what you presented to us has weakened us completely. Huh. 
That means an impure princess will lead the pure maidens for the sacred empowerment of maidens that happen once every ten years. <sighs> As in the, the truth as it concerns the festival of Inchapa Boro is that I will never allow what you fear to happen. We are confused, don't know. Why will you be confused? If you have been following the turn of events in this kingdom, you should have known that I have not been going to the palace. Oh no, we are aware of your refusal to visit the palace. Well, I am... Um, I am... taking this very stand of not going to the palace because I want things to be done the right way. We know why you don't want to go to the palace, you know. But our problem is, what if the king decides to move on without you? It is not possible. But no, you sounded as if you know the kind of power the king will and what he's capable of. Well, I know the kind of power that he wields, and I equally know what he's capable of doing. But you have to understand, I am on the right track this time around, and there is no way the king can force me into doing anything. So, what is the conclusion on this matter now? The conclusion of the matter is that the princess is defied, just like you said. And she must have to present herself for cleansing. If she fails to present herself for cleansing, then there is no way she will lead the charge in the festival of Nchokwa mm -hmm. hmm. huh. Oh no. What if she refuses to come for cleansing? Then uh, we have no other option than to go for the next alternative. Which is? Well, uh, I will have to let you know that uh, I am not going to tell you the next alternative now until the time comes. All right. Oh no. Thank you for your time. We appreciate. You're welcome, and uh, I appreciate the fact that you came to make these inquiries from me. We will be on our way now. It's okay. It's okay. And I do not hesitate to come back if you need any other information so that you don't make mistakes, okay? Okay, Papa. Let me see. The Thank you, no. Good. Thank you. And uh, come back and give me something to eat. Yes, Papa. <laughs> These are the maidens that you have in the kingdom. And the one who is already defied is uh, the one who is going to lead the child. Or they are going to be up by the Were you able to speak with him? Yes, I did. So what did he say? He didn't want to hear it. Did you make him understand it is my choice? Of course. Then why is he stubborn over this? You should know your brother very well, better than I do. He could be very stubborn, but loving. You can attest to that. Oh, please. At this point of my life, I don't need his love. All I need is for him to understand and allow me to do the things that I need to do. That's all. Maybe you should tell him. Pour out your mind to him. But do you think he's going to accept it? You never can tell. For once, you know, you haven't told him exactly what you want. So maybe you should say to him with your own mouth. It could change a lot of things. That's correct. Once you get him to sympathize with you, you use that opportunity to express yourself and make him understand how you feel about the whole thing. You're correct, my queen. So let me go and see him then. Hmm? I don't think that would be a good idea. Why? Because he's still very angry. So maybe you could see him much later in the evening. That way he... His anger would have died down. <sighs> 
Take it easy. Girls, what do you think? Mm. If you ask me, I feel the man is hell bent in doing the right thing. Exactly. But the power wouldn't allow him to do that. If the king tries to force him, we will revolt. Exactly what I have in mind. A woman who has committed abomination cannot lose the sacred place of Onyuwa. Honestly, it surprises me that the princess is positioning herself to lead the church. When she knows that she's surrounded with a lot of question mark, that's what surprises me. You know, that goes a long way to explain the evil in her heart. If I were her, I would just hide my face in shame. Or better still, do the cleansing. Ito, why can't they even do the cleansing? Same question I have been asking myself. I have been asking myself this same question. Why can't she go for the cleansing so that the battle between the royal family and the no who will fed away? What's it going to take her? Oh, get it. Maybe if she goes for the cleansing, people will question her involvement with lesbianism and she'll be exposed. <laughs> In that case, she may not subject herself for the cleansing. <laughs> Then the battle with Yono and the king goes on and on. Hmm. My only happiness is that there is another way. <laughs> Who knows what the other way will be? Ndidi, she would not be hot. No will let us know when the time is right, okay? Isn't it? Hmm? We are waiting. No problem. <laughs> Till then. All right. We have to go. <laughs> See you guys. Eh? See you I get, get. <laughs> Okay. All right, take care. Don't forget to. No problem. I'll bring it for you. <laughs> All right. Oh, my boy. I want us to discuss like brother and sister. Okay. What do you want to do with your life? I just want to live my life the way I please. That's all. But I've given you liberty to live your life as you please, haven't I? I know, brother. I know you've given me the liberty to do what I want. But there's an aspect of my life you're not giving me the freedom to express. Which is? In choosing a life partner, I just want someone I can spend the rest of my life with. Someone who loves me and I love the person back. Are you telling me Nanya is not okay for you? No, brother. I don't love him. And I can't possibly see myself spending the rest of my life with him. But Nanyere is a very hard-working man. And I believe he'll take very good care of you. I, I know he's hard-working and he'll take good care of me. But I don't love him. Why? This is the kind of man every girl dreams of having as a husband. Why don't you see that in him? Brother, I am not every girl. See, that's the problem. I just want you to give me the freedom to be able to choose someone who truly loves me and I love the person in return. Please. Is it too much to ask? Well, it's your choice to make. Feel free. Really? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is the best thing you're ever going to do for me. <laughs> Yeah, you're my you. sister, you know, and I'll do everything on earth to make you happy. Thank you. All you need to do is, um, when it's convenient for you both, bring the man home and then we take it up from there. It's not a man. It's not a man. I didn't hear that. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with is not a man.
You didn't tell me you were coming. I called you, but you were not picking, so I wanted to surprise you. I don't okay. like that. I don't like people barging into my house without informing me. You refer to me as people. That is not the point. Why are you here? Why are you sounding as if you're fighting? You just invaded my privacy. Do you expect me to be happy? Or you're scared that the princess might walk in on us? I don't have time for arguments. Why are you here? I wanted to come and spend some time with you, but I think you're not in the mood for that. I'll just take my leave. No, no, it's, 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 not, it's, it's not like that. Don't take it away. Well, your okay. countenance and your body language says it all, so I'll go on. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I reacted the way you don't like. No problem. I will go then. I will call you on phone then. If you say I should come, I will come back. <laughs> or if you say I should not, I will stay in my house. That's funny. <laughs> you don't do that. Come on. Yeah, I'm serious. I will actually do that. I will call you. Kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. What you have just said is totally absurd, and I do not ever want to hear that again. But you said we're discussing like brother and sister. You promised me you were not going to get involved with any kind of lesbianism again. Remember? And I did keep to my words, brother. Before now, I, I know I was into so many ladies, but I've decided to choose just one person. Getting married to a woman is totally out of it. What has come over you, Ebene? Do you ever remember your royalty? Oh, that's the problem. I hate it when you associate this royalty with every aspect of my life. I mean, can't I just live a normal life like a normal human being? And what is wrong with me getting married to Lady Charlotte for my husband? Oh. That classless woman of the lowest ebb is the one? And you want me to answer that question? Why are you calling her classless? I mean, this woman is hardworking. And she's a perfect example of every woman, every man or woman wants to spend the rest of their lives with. I do not want to continue listening to this abomination. If you get married to a fellow woman, how are you going to reproduce? <sighs> I can't remember telling my brother I wanted children. Yes, I just wanted to spend the rest of my life with this woman and enjoy the best days of my life. That's all, brother. Come on. Oh my God. You, you see why father regretted sending you abroad to study? Now you're making him regret even more in the grave. Why are you bringing our dead father into this? The dead has no place among the living. What you're saying is nonsense. And it has to stop. Because my ears are filled with this abomination you're vomiting. Okay, fine. If having children is your problem, there's a way out. Which is? Maybe <laughs> because I don't know how a woman impregnates another woman. Oh, goodness. My brother, the great king of Umuri Kingdom, is still living in the dark stages of life. Oh, come on, brother. There are ways. Okay, now look at it this way. If I get married to Lady Charlotte, we invite a man over, I meet with a man, I get pregnant, and we start producing kids. And you call that a life? Of course, that's the best life to live. And I just want you to please allow me to live my life. Never. What? Get out of my sight. Out! And now that I know what both of you are planning, I don't ever want to see that low life Lady Charlotte in this palace again. <laughs> that can never happen, brother. 
I was trying and planning to tone down my initial instructions. But now that I've seen how recalcitrant you are, if you ever make her come to this palace again, what I will do to the both of you, you will wonder if I'm still your blood. Enjoyed the food. As always. <laughs> you go my daughter. You know you are a very wonderful cook. <laughs> Thank so you. So whatever thing you decide to prepare is always the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Father, I want to tell you something. Go ahead. You see, Father, while my friends and I were waiting for you, they talked about this festival fast approaching. Festival of Njewabo. Uh -huh. They said um, they they said some things about it. I do, I'm not. Um, I have very little knowledge about this festival, mm -hmm. which is why I decided to ask you about it. Uh, first of all, I need to. I need to hear from you what you have managed to understand from your friends Please. regarding the festival before I will. I will tell you, you know, what you want to hear. That is the problem, Papa. I cannot remember their words word for word, but I think it was something in the effect of the princess having to appear before the sacry tree of Onyowa and uh, make prayers and supplications for the good of all the maidens of our land. That is how it is. Huh? Yes. On the appointed day of the festival, at that particular dot when the sun is in the center of the sky, the princess is expected to appear barefooted before the secretary of Onyowa to pray for the maidens of this kingdom. She's going to pray <sighs> to the gods and goddesses of this kingdom that the spirit of fertility shall be poured on all the women of this kingdom who are expecting fruit of the womb. Hmm. She's going to pray that decent men from all walks of life should be the ones coming to marry from this kingdom. She's going to pray that men who will respect their wives, men who will practically worship their wives, are the ones who will be coming to marry the maidens of this kingdom. And she's equally going to pray that all the useless men who beat their wives, all the men who frustrate their wives, all the men who abuse their women should be diverted to other lands. Hmm. Yeah, it is a very complex prayer. Very complex prayer because uh, women look up to it. It is something that is connected to our root and uh, we do not joke with that festival. And uh, it, is not, it is not possible for a maiden to partake in two different festivals because any maiden who has taken part in one must have been married before the next one comes. Mm. That is why you don't see many married women in the kingdom. Mm. It's something that is deeply connected and we hold it very high. This is really deep, Papa. It's very deep. Umori is very deep as a land. But then, the princess we both know does not have the moral capacity to do this. My daughter, I must have to let you know that no sin is permanent. She can. She can? Yes. How? Because it is her right as the princess who is already above 18 years in that palace. It is her right uh, to lead the festival of Nchapa Bora. If really it's her right, Papa, why then do you keep insisting she presents herself for cleansing? Uh, that is why I said no sin is permanent. If she submits herself for cleansing, because there is an abomination that is hanging around her neck. If she submits for cleansing and then she is cleansed of that abomination, the gods of this land will give her the grace to go ahead and lead that festival. And whatever that she prays, they will listen. But Father, mm -hmm. in a situation where she accepts to go for the cleansing, only to come back to the same scene, 
Will it not affect her prayers and supplications? Uh, well, listen. <laughs> In this kingdom, what we have to do is to follow the laid down rules of our ancestors. They are the ones that provided that if somebody has committed an abomination, he or she must go for cleansing. And once you are cleansed, that abomination is no longer there. But if the person will now decide to go back to that same abomination again, we have to leave the gods to handle it. We have mastered something in this kingdom. We do not move faster than our gods. We allow the gods to move, and then we are following them. Little wonder we do not make a lot of mistakes in this kingdom. Hmm, Papa, <laughs> you are really rooted in tradition. I am in a kingdom that is rooted, so nationally I have to be rooted myself. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> If, if I, I get, get married, married to Lady Charlotte, we invite a man over. I meet with a man, I get pregnant, and we start producing kids. <laughs> and you call that a life? Of course, that's the best life to live. And I just want you to please allow me to live my life. Call me, Your Majesty. You know the house of Lady Charlotte? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. You take me there in 10 minutes. Okay, Your Majesty. One more thing. Nobody must know about this. Okay. Get the car ready. Okay. What will people say when they hear about this? You need to calm down and tell me exactly what he said. He's against the idea. That's all I have to say. What's your take on this? I am still going to get married to the love of my life. How are you going to do that? I mean, you need someone to give you out in marriage. If no one is giving you out in marriage, then there's no marriage. And that would lead to problems. At this point, I don't care. Someone is trying to use his position to tempt me, and I refuse to be tempted by anybody. You should learn to avoid your brother when he's angry. My queen, I have done that in the past, and he doesn't favor me. It's all about my happiness. Besides, he's just my brother, not my father. And even if he were my father, he can't even live my life for me. I wish you can just listen to me, Ebu Benme. Your brother is a man who has assumed position as king in Omori. And he will go to whatever length to make sure he stops you from seeing Lady Charlotte. He cannot do that. Never. You don't know him. He is my husband and I know exactly what he is capable of doing. I think I should let you know who he is better. He is someone who can go to the extent of killing if that's the last option left for him to take Lady Charlotte out of the way. You didn't just say that. Of course I did. He's my husband and I know what exactly he's capable of. Yes, he will do that and nobody will say anything about it. Stop making me see my brother differently. He is harmless. He can't even hurt a fly. Yes, during the coronation, some things were inserted into his body, but that's just for the crown. Once the crown is taken away from him, he's as weak as vegetable. <laughs> you do not know your brother. Your brother is someone that whatever he's determined to do, he'll do it. Mm -hmm. He'll do it and nobody will say anything. Well... It may be tough to other people, but not to me. You cannot harm me for any reason. I never said your brother was going to harm you. All I said is if he has to take Lady Charlotte out of the way, he will do that. If anything happens to Lady Charlotte, 
he will have me to contend with. She's living a way of life, eh? yeah. Yeah. practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. Yeah. She's living a dirty lifestyle. Yeah. She don't want to let it go. She learns from the wisdom word. Keep your greetings to yourself. I'm not interested in it. You don't sound well, Your Majesty. What is the problem? You were the problem. And I can confirm you're still the problem. I can't remember doing anything against the will of the king. Neither have I done anything against, nor contrary to the tradition and customs of our people. By your standards, you may not have done anything wrong. But by the king of Omori, you have committed an abomination. Stay away from my sister. Lady Charlotte, or whatever they call you, You have made my crown. Kiss the sands of Omori. Stay away from my sister. I don't understand, Your Majesty. Shut up. I am not done talking. Apologies. I do not need your apologies and I will never do. Stay away from my sister. Cancel whatever you have with her or I will cancel you. Can I at least say something? I have no interest in whatever you have to say. If you do not stay away from her, it will be so unfair, Your Majesty, not to at least tell me what I have done wrong or what my offense is. In this kingdom, as in every other kingdom that understands the ideology of Chukugi Kabiyama. A woman does not marry a woman. It may be acceptable in other places, but here it is an abomination that has dire consequences. And I will not let it happen. Not while I am still seated on the throne of Omori Kingdom. Stay away from my sister or I will invoke the destructive powers of the ancient staff of Umori Kingdom. And I will do it like never before. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. She learns from the wisdom world. Is it taboo in our own culture and traditions? And I'm a science something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land. It is a taboo. To me, your brother was here. How did you know your house? A guard drove him. What did he say? He came to threaten me as usual. What? What were his exact words? That we should stop seeing each other. Never. That cannot happen. If we do not stop, that he will invoke the destructive power of the ancient staff of Mumbi on me. What? Exactly what you just heard me say. <sighs> My love, I have an idea. What? I 
think we should elope. I mean, travel to any other country, get settled, and if possible, get married to herself. My darling, the agenda is to make our people embrace the independence of the women. And we have not achieved that. Because our people still see us as an abominable people. Now, running away should be the act of cowardice. <laughs> we are not running away. I, I don't understand why you're so bothered about the people right now. We should be bothered about our happiness. And my suggestion is the best way we can do it. Remember, my brother is a very powerful king and he can go to any length to stop us. Sugar, I know how powerful your brother is. And I also know that the power to separate us is in our hands, right? So, Nobody, not even your brother, has the power to separate us. Am I right? So, what are you saying in summary? What I'm saying in summary is that we should sit back, fight, and protect our relationship, what we share, our love. We shouldn't run away. Please. I'm worried. Don't. I'm here for you. We should be here for each other. Hmm? Say love you. I love you more. He didn't have to do that. My brother has crossed the line this time. And I will not give it to him. Why must he remove his cap and drop on the ground to one Lady Charlotte? I mean, that's too extreme. Honestly, my queen, that is not my business. If he likes, he should remove his royal apparel and drop on the ground just to intimidate an innocent woman who has done no wrong to him. I am not moved. But he must be made to leave me alone. See, you need to understand that what your brother did is deeply spiritual here in Omombe. Yes, so do not take it for granted. What does it mean? He has presented Lady Charlotte to the gods of his fathers with the earth bearing witness. If he lays a curse on her, it will stick. You see what I mean, my queen? You see what I mean? Why has he not let these curses on the terrorists terrorizing our kingdom? Why has he not let these curses on the kidnappers? Why does he have to lay curses on an innocent woman who has done him no wrong? This is not a time for war. Calm down with diplomacy. We will win this battle. You have to move. You have to move. You have to Who are you? I'm going to come up. I'm Why are you here? We are from this kingdom. Yes. I want to be friends with you. Ma, we have observed you for a while now. And we discover you're a great woman. So you want to get that cash soon so you can become great too. Yes, ma. Yes. I see. You're welcome to my house. Come. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my house once again. Thank, Thank you. you. Please, I'm not cut out for that man nonsense thing. Call me Lady Charlotte. Okay, okay Lady Charlotte. Charlotte. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? Yeah. Food juice. Okay. I'll get you that. Excuse me. She's rich. Look at this fine power. 
Eh? I always know that there's something rich about this woman. I tell you all. Hey. I tell you all. Eh? See how you're fine. <laughs> She's living a way of life, eh? Oh, yeah. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. Uh, and she don't want to let it go. Oh, she's living a way of life. Oh. Something she learns from the Western world mm. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions And I'm not science or something she call her freedom It's against the law of our land oh. It is a taboo for a woman to lay a fellow woman in the land It is a taboo I'm a banging a science of It's an abomination To say to women who are intimately in love You know they have now It's an abominable thing One of them will definitely be lucky Good afternoon, brother. Fine afternoon, Udoka. How are you doing? Brother, I'm not fine. What happened? I want to resign from this work. Why? I don't want to work again. I don't understand. You don't want to work again. You must have a reason for that. It doesn't matter. Of course, it does matter. Alright? Come on, tell me. Well, well, if, if you must know. The, the princess has been making passes at me. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand, like, come on. The princess is a girl like you. She can't be making advances at you now. But, but I, she's a lesbian. What? Lay? No, oh, it's a lie. But I have no reason to lie to you. She disturbs me every night. And the way things are going, I'm no longer comfortable. Um, I think uh, this is no reason for you to resign from your work. Eh? All you just need to do is just keep resisting her. Besides, she won't rape you. But I don't understand though. With the way things are going in there, <laughs> she may decide and drop me. Last, last, she will, she will rape me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She can't rape you. Huh? Just keep resisting her by the time she finds out that you're not interested. Then she will give up. Okay? That, that means I should continue working. Yes, that's what you will do. Keep on working. Okay? Oh. Just always be the good girl you are. Alright? Oh. Come on, give it us. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah. My regards to everyone. Yeah. All right, I will. Bye bye. Keep making us proud, yeah? Bye bye. Hey! Nayere! Nayere! Hope you like the drink. Yes, I love it. it tastes good. Nice. At this point, don't you think it will be nice we we'll make some meal and eat? Make something delicious. Eat together. It will be fine. Okay. Nene, what about you? Sure, anything. Okay. Um, Neka, let me get you some money to rush down to the village market and get some things, right? Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Ah. What are we going to buy? I have rice in the house. You can just get things uh, to prepare stew. Hmm? 
10 kilos of turkey. It's fine. Whatever you know you can get for stew preparation. Okay. All right. So drink up so I can rush to the market. Alright, hope you're okay. Okay. Nene, I can see you are feeling sleepy. Yes. Would you mind I show you a bedroom where you can sleep very well? I appreciate that. Funny. Then drink up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, please, can't drink your glass coffee. Shall we? Naye! 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 Who is that? Naye! <laughs> what is it and why are you screaming my name as if someone is after you? Like, no, no one is after me. Nobody is after me. Hey! Why are you screaming my name like that? What I just heard about the princess this afternoon is not pleasant to hear at all. What is that that you heard about the princess? I was reliably informed that the princess is a lesbian. Ah. Uh, Chude, why are you talking like this now? And who is feeding you with all these lies? Oh, nah, you know, this is not a lie. This is not a lie. Now tell me, what is your source of information? Good. I hope you remember that my sister is working at the palace. Yes. Good. The princess is making a scheme on how to sleep with her. How? That was the exact question I was asking how. Uh, Chude. Chude. I want to believe that it is not your sister who is cooking up all this story in order to make princess the love of my life appear bad before me. Oh, Nayere, I hate the way that stands at times. I hate it. This is not a plan. This is, this, this is pure truth. Are, are you following me? Yes. That means it is true. So, Princess is a lesbian. Do you know that my sisters have been telling me about this, but I do not believe them? Yes, you have to believe. You have to believe and run for your dear life. Because if you end up marrying her, you will just make out of her body while her mind is with another woman elsewhere. Hey! Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, it's over there. I know, I know, I know to him. <laughs> you should be thanking your God, though. Go and thank your God. They just saved you. Princess. A lesbian. Hmm. Hey! She's living a way of life. Eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. Yeah. She's living a dirty lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And she don't want to let it go. She's living a wayward life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something she learns from the Western world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it taboo in our own culture and traditions? And I'm a science or something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land. Oh. It is a taboo. For a woman to lay a fellow woman in a land It is a taboo I'm a bang in a science It's an abomination To say to women who are intimately in love You know they have no idea It's an abominable thing no. Stop living away with life oh, yeah. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination I thought friend two days we saw him from the inside. Yes. Mm. He was here. He just left. Just like that? Yes. What is it, brother? You don't look yourself. It is true. 
What, what is true? What you guys told me about Princess. Oh, you have found out? Yes. Today my friend just told me about it. Thank God someone you trust has told you about it. You think we are trying to tarnish the princess's image? But how could she involve herself in such dirty art? The same question I keep asking Chetachi. Thank God the truth has come to light. Brother, you just have to choose another girl and get married to her. Exactly. I, I, I don't understand. We'll get you a new wife. Forget about the princess. Period. As what? As I cannot get another woman for myself or what? Will you both go inside? I can take anything from you. But threatening Lady Charlotte is what I will not take from you. Have you parted ways with your senses? You're talking to Ezo Gilisi of Omori Kingdom. And this is the princess of the same Omori Kingdom talking. I am having a conversation with my brother. So the princess and the king should be kept aside. I am not just your brother. I am now king. The custodian of the revered of all of Omori Kingdom. And you will definitely accord me that respect. Oh, come off it, brother. You know I respect you a lot. But the very moment you started encroaching into my privacy and using your king position to tame my sexuality, every respect I had for you dwindled. I keep forgetting you know who has ruled you have an abomination hanging around your neck. Why am I even wasting my time having this conversation? This conversation is very necessary because I, Princess Ebubene, I will get married to Lady Charlotte. How dare you mention that name? Are you mad? You slapped me. Mention that name one more time and I will do worse. You surely regret this. I, <laughs> I am only still leaving you alive because we are bound by blood. If not, I would have killed you. You, you think that's the idea? Because I've been keeping quiet. You think I'm a weakling? <laughs>
cleaning of this? Why are you not opening the gate? My princess, the king of Umuri has given an order that no one must disobey. You are joking, right? No, you are joking! So the king gave you such orders and you intend to keep such orders, right? My princess, the king ordered must not be disobeyed. Do you know I can kill you right now? If you don't open this gate right now, I'll kill you! My princess, if you want to kill me for obeying the king, you can go ahead. But I cannot disobey the king of Umuri. Very well then. You are fired! Nonsense. Hey, what is that your stupid name again? I said, what is that your stupid name again? My stupid name is Onyeka. Onyeka, I need you to open that gate right now. Uh, my princess, whoever that will disobey the king of Umuri kingdom is not yet born. And I am the princess of Umuri kingdom. So I deserve to be respected as well. Uh, you are right, but we are under an oath never to disobey the king. It's not done, my princess. I'm sorry. And why are you making a fool of yourself? Joining issues with guards on the real earth. What exactly is the meaning of this? This is just the beginning. You still have mouth to talk because you can still see the sky where the birds will sing to your hearing. The next time you'll be restricted to your home. stage in my own father's house. Is that what you're doing? If that's how you see what has just played out, then so be it. Uh, my princess, the key. Which one is this one? She did pass anyhow. Which, which other will go to follow now? I don't know. Who are the princess? So what up? Come on. What up? It's time to go home. Hello. What up? Wake up right now, okay? Wake, wake up! My God! My God! What's, what's, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Come on! What? Yo! See, you have to, you have to get, get, get wake up. Wake! Hey! You have to wake up! You can't just do this! Oh my god! What did I do? What did I do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Come 
Oh, mau kota. Hey, what's wrong? I, you don't look okay. I came here this early morning with my friend, so the owner of the house sent me to buy something. On reaching here now, the gate is locked. The owner of the house sent you to buy something. Yes, reaching sir. here, the gate is locked. Then what about the friend that you came with? She's still inside. She's inside? Yes. Then call the person that you came to see. I don't have a number. Sense something bad may have happened to your friend. What will be it, sir? Do you think, do you have idea if they have dogs inside no, here? No, I don't think. Because I've been looking. If they have dogs, you will be back in sense. into my room. The question should be, what did you do to her? I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't do anything to her. I, we were both drinking and she fell asleep. And, 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 Neka. Did I do anything to her? I don't know, but this is not how I left my friend for going to the market. Where go? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to her. My name is Caesars. And that name came because Caught so deep, <laughs> and not just deep. I caught so fast. Do you want to start telling us what you did to her, or you want to experience scissors? Okay, <laughs> okay. I will talk. I will talk. Just do not harm me, please. I will talk. Now start talking. Not in her presence, please. Neka, give us some space. Is my friend dead? No. She's alive. Give me some space. Explain what you did. I I left her drink with some propofol. Why? Because because I because I want to have her. Lesbian. And you choose to have carnal knowledge of her in her state of unconsciousness? Is that so? It's not what you think. It's not like that. 
Okay. Nari, please. How did you know she's not dead? Please, how do I revive her? Help me. You have to get any choking agent and place on her nose. If she breaks it, she will sneeze and wake up. Thank you. Let me have your same cards right now. What? What, what for? Why? I don't like repeating myself. My SIM card, why? You get me. So what I think that is just how it is right now. I don't think he's safe going without my friend. No, uh, nothing will happen to her. She's fine. But why is she not waking up? It's just, um, she's under the influence of a sleeping substance that was added to the drink. Substance? Why? Anyways, uh, that's best known to her. But be rest assured that your friend, it's fine. Once that substance clears from her body, she'll be okay. I don't think she might harm my friend, sir. No. She won't do such thing. In that case, you may just have to pass a night here so you keep your friends secured and safe. I'm afraid. I'll have to fall back here to bring money to check on you girls. By that time, she would have woken up. You just have to stay vigilant and watchful. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. All right, just be vigilant. All right, sir. Your husband overstepped his boundary today, and I will not take it from him. What happened? He wouldn't let me leave the palace. And I had to cancel all the appointments I had for today. Why? Because he thinks I was going to see Lady Charlotte. Even if you were going to see Lady Charlotte, that's not enough reason to stop you from my leaving babe, the palace. You really need to go and talk to your husband. Because by the time my own madness starts, hey, nobody in the whole of this palace will be able to control me. No one! I'm glad this did not escalate into a fight. Well, it would have. I only just respected the crown on his head. I had to keep on. Wise decision. The guards will have malhandled you if you had squared up to him. That's a story for another day, But I, Princess Ebubeni, I will personally deal with them in this palace. You can't pick a fight with everyone. But he's the one driving me crazy. And he needs to be caught to order. If he's not caught to order, my queen. <laughs> Huh. It's okay. I'll speak with him. I'm sure he will be kind. You just have to. It's okay. What I'm more interested in is how the business meeting went. How was it? My husband, please, do not accept authority on this. Let's deal with this as intelligent people that we are. If not, this is going to destroy the family. Listen, this family is too strong to be destroyed by an abomination. On the contrary, failure to deal with an abomination is what destroys the family. My husband, please, you need to listen to me. You've already pushed your sister to the brink. As we speak, she's on the wall. If you keep pushing any further, she would choose to bounce back. Oh, that would be great. She should bounce back and fall on a rock so she'll be smithered. You can't possibly go to war with your own sister. That's an insult to me. I cannot go to war with Ebelina, and you know it. So why don't you let her be? Like I have always said, this is international best practice. People in the Western world are already practicing it. It is not as bad as we make it look. I'm not going to have this 
conversation. As long as I live, and as long as I remain king in this Umuri kingdom, it will never happen. <sighs> this is taking away the peace of this family. I can see hatred and war gradually setting in. Oh, sometimes war brings about peace. The most peaceful nations are the ones who have fought the fiercest wars. If this is what it's going to cost, I don't care. But you want her. That if she pushes me to the wall, I will descend on her with the totality and brutality of a king. Let her know that. She's living a way of life, eh? Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. What is wrong with our numbers? Why are they not connecting? Is she okay? What is really going on? Good evening, baby. Have a seat. So, earlier today, I asked one of the maidens to make a special dish for you. The special fried rice. Did you enjoy? Yes. And what are you supposed to tell them to you? Thank you. Yay! Okay, so what's good? I want to ask you something. Okay, short. Why are you always having problems with my father? And who said I'm always having problem with your father? Where did you get that from? Okay, now, listen. Your father is my elder brother. And sometimes siblings just want to have fun, exchange words and talk. I know you won't understand until a cutie just like you pops out of your mom's tummy. <laughs> Look, I love your father dearly. He's my only family. He's my only brother. So I love him with everything in me. Okay? So I don't have problems with your father. Right? Give Auntie a smile. Smile, 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 smile. <laughs> All right. It's time for you to go to bed. Here? Good night. Good night, baby. Sweet dreams. Auntie loves you. All right. Bye. Thank God you are weak. What happened to me? Calm down, calm down. It's a long story. What are we doing here? Really, calm down. What are we doing here? Calm down. I just I came back, I met you sleeping. I don't like this place. Calm you down, we me. can't go now. We can't go now. Why? It's very late. But it's not been long we came here. Yes, we came here in the evening, but check time is already past 2 a.m. What? How? Calm down. In two to three hours, we're going to leave here. It's already morning already. So calm down. Oh, Jesus. I'm completely lost, Jesus. What really happened to me? Calm down, let me explain everything. You said there is something important you want to discuss with me. Yes. All right, go ahead. Okay, so um, I'm going to be very straight on this. My friend said that I should tell you that she's in love with you. Who in particular? Um, Adugu. Hmm. 
What an irony of life. Mm, sorry, I don't understand. Your friend is in love with me. Yes. And I love you. Okay. What? <laughs> yes. It's been a while I've been, I've been in love with you. Just that the opportunity have not showed up for me to let my intentions known to you. Wait, wait. You're joking, right? No, Chugo. I am not joking. I love you so much. And I want you to know that. All I ask is just, you know, a chance to prove my love for you. I do love you from the deepest part of my heart. Oh, but please, can you stop? Eh? I just told you right now that my friend said she loves you, that she'll help her to talk to you. And that is exactly what I am doing, not the other way around. Okay. Well, help me tell your friend, eh? Tell her that I don't love her. And I would never, I mean, I would never have anything to do with her. Okay. She'll, she'll, she'll get your message. Do you go? <laughs> I want you to know that I love you so much. And I'm ready to do anything to prove my love for you. I love you. I want you to know that. All I ask is just a chance. Just a chance. Just a chance. To prove my love for you. See me, I don't understand all, 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 all this thing that you're saying, no, but nevertheless, I'll go, I'm going to tell her what you said. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... What an opportunity. Well, we'll see about that. So you took about it. Sorry. Oh, you sure you pretend anything you did to me. So it was never intentional. Please. You pushed this thing to me. I would just to take advantage of you. No, you are weaker than me. Oh, we tell the entire community who you truly are. Not only the entire community. I will tell my brother who is the head of the business. Who will come here and board this whole house. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm offering you hundred thousand dollars. Don't worry. Take your money. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she don't want to let it go. Oh, she's living away what life. Something she learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions. And I'm a science something she call her freedom. It's against the law of our land.
did he go with Uba? He's proving stubborn. He doesn't like me, I guess. No, no, not really. So what exactly did he say to you? Well, he wasn't specific in his words. So I can't um, really lay concrete claims on a perfect interpretation. I was going to ask you what you suggest I do, but here you are confusing me the more. I'm not confusing you. But that is exactly what you are doing. See, I, I, I think you guys should have um, a discussion because I can't really make out anything from all he said. That means it was just a waste of time sending you to him. No, 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 you don't have to say it that way. That is exactly what he's playing out here. Mm? Don't, you know what? Don't, 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 don't worry. I'll go and talk to him by myself. See, you're getting upset and it's not good. Give me one reason why I shouldn't get angry. No, tell me why I shouldn't, I shouldn't get angry. I asked you to do something for me. You came back telling me nothing and you expect me to be happy. If it's you, will you clap for me? So what did you say you wanted to discuss with me? I need a driver. A driver? That shouldn't be an issue. I mean, one of the guys can drive you. All of them are professional drivers. It's part of the criteria they were employed. So if you need any specific one amongst them, just point at the person and I'll assign him to you. I, I don't need any of your guards. Why? Because I need them to concentrate on the royal force they met to you. And they've proven that they don't even see me in this palace. So I can't entrust my precious life in their hands. My darling sister, you see that oath they made to me is the more reason you should have one of them as your personal driver. By that, that person will never betray you. But let's try someone new. At least someone I can trust. And I've, I've seen a perfect person for the job. You have? Mm -hmm. And you are sure the person can drive very well? I think so. You think so? You haven't even seen this person drive before? And yes, I haven't seen him, but I believe him. He said he can drive. I mean, nobody will stand before the presence of the Princess of Umuri Kingdom and lie to my face. So I totally believe him. Let's just give him a chance. Hmm. Okay. If you feel the person you have chosen is the best driver for you, then we'll see about that. Thank you, brother. Chugo. You requested to see me. Yes. What is it? Adaku asked me to talk to Uba on her behalf, which I did. What? Is it that bad that she's now running after men instead of men running after her? She's only following her heart. We shouldn't read meaning into it. I can never do a thing like that. See, relax. We all have different approach to life, okay? So let's not condemn her. You are right. But it would be preferable and respected if Uba approached her and confessed love to her. Not the other way around. See, I, I, I know exactly where you're driving at, but that's not even the reason why I demanded to see you. What's the issue? See, when I went to Oba to tell him about what Adako said, instead he just, he, he, he turned and professed love for me. <laughs> Confucian race to power, too. It's not funny. He, yeah, it's, it is not funny, but... What are you going to do then? Hey, that is exactly why I demanded to see you because I don't know what to do. I'm confused. If I am to see, eh? Since Uba likes you, and if you like him, you both can move on. But won't she feel bad? She will feel as if I betrayed her. Um, you were right. But before you move on with Uba, eh? Tell Uba to make it very open and plain to Adak that he's not interested. And after that, he will be so free and nobody will harass you. 
Okay. Hmm. Uh, just think about it, okay? Oh, I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, thank you. The Festival of Ichekwa Abuoho is around the corner, and I would like to lead the charge. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Goodness! This is the best news I've heard today. Why? Why is it the best news? Because I did not know you would want to lead the charge. Well, then if I don't, who will? My niece is still very little, so I'm fully in charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. In that case, I'll speak with you no and get back to you. I like your dedication to it. Yeah, but well, no way again. You know that man does not like me. And you will be, be against me leading the charge of the festival. Ebubene, <laughs> my sister. Don't you ever forget that Uno is the Isin Zenoza of Umori Kingdom. And he's the one to set the festival in motion. Are you saying without the Uno, the festival cannot hold? I mean, why are you then the king? You see, in Igbo land, the concept of separation of power is an ancient one. Our forefathers were wise. They alone knew why they placed powers in many people's hands. Onowu is the only person that can activate the festival. Oh, no wonder. No wonder he has been misbehaving. I mean, they gave him so much power, unnecessary power. <laughs> You know he's not misbehaving. You are the reason he's doing all this. Um, but I've already promised I won't do it again. Oh, yes, just me. I promise. That's where it ends. Okay? There is more to it. Doesn't just go like that. So, as my brother and the king, what are you going to do? Hmm. I've told you I'll speak to the Unohu and get back to you. Hmm? I beg to take my leave. It's all right. <laughs> seen you in this mood in a very long while. What did you two discuss? <laughs> Everything is falling in perfect place, my queen. Tell me about it. So, I told you my intention of leading the festival of Nchekwa Boho, which comes up once every 10 years, and he accepted that I lead the charge. Wow! <laughs> That's a big one! I know, you can say that again. But, there is an order. And what could that be? Do you know? I don't understand. My queen, as you know, do you know is one man that is committed into these ancient things? Yeah, yeah. I know. But what has that got to do with this? He has to set the process in motion while others follow. The king does not need to you know. He's the king. His power is absolute. Exactly my point. But he insisted that the separation of powers in the kingdom be less responsibility on the know. And because it's a hard knock to crack, I mean, it's making me so scared. <sighs> Come here. Give me so scared. You don't need to ruin this beautiful moment with being scared. Look at me. I'll talk to my husband. Cheer. All right. Thank you. Thank you, my mm -hmm. queen. Okay. So, okay. care to join? Mm -hmm. Hello, handsome. As you can see, I am on duty. Eh? So allow me to do my job. I don't need that your deceitful smiles. 
Why would you say my smile is deceitful? Uh, 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 I don't have time for this argument. Just leave and allow me to do my job. Okay, can we see later? No. Why are you this mean to me, Uba? I am not mean to you. Just allow me to do my job. Okay, I will allow you to do your job, but please, can we see later? Please, I'm begging you. Until then, just go. Someone might be somewhere looking at us right now. Oh, all right, I'll see you later. What does she want from you? Don't mind her, girl. Don't mind her. Tell me, is she pregnant for you? God forbid. Why will you say such a thing? What is she discussing with you? That girl is very stupid. Imagine she's asking me to be her boyfriend. What was your reply? Of course I told her I'm not interested. It's a lie. It's a lie. I did. Why must you reject such free food? Don't you know she won't be demanding anything from you? And you'll be enjoying her for free. See, I don't like that girl. And I cannot have anything to do with her. Ha, fine now. Some too, and Cheda. <laughs> Anytime both of you are smiling like this, <laughs> something is really cooking up. You can say that again, brother. So, what is it? So, brother, mm -hmm. we found you a good girl to marry. Mm -hmm. Oh. You found me another woman to marry? Yes, brother. Okay, so who is she? Well, we will hide her identity for now. But brother, the question is, mm -hmm. are you interested? Of course. I am interested as long as my beautiful sisters here approve it. I am interested. Okay. okay. We will bring her to you soon. Uh -huh. Yes. I hope she carry what I used to like. But we know what you like. Oh, but we find the ring. Yeah, we have it. We know what you like. Oh, Biana Azo, brother. Buriana Azo, Omo Buriana Azo. She's endowed. Eh, Ruru Kwaniru. Do you guys know what I used to like? Brother, she carry everything. Eh, yeah. yes. complete. She's okay. a good girl. I will be waiting. All right. All right. Now you know. Okay. Make sure she's beautiful. Oh, oh mama, where's <laughs> Baba? I don't know. So we now have it front and back. Oh. Mm. Good afternoon. Should I open it? Mm, is the princess coming out soon? Yes, yeah, she'll be with you shortly. Okay. Um, don't bother, okay? I'm fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you too. Hey. Hey. My one and only princess of the <laughs> kingdom. Welcome. Hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Hey, even if you did, there is no problem. I'm not complaining. I'm yes. fine. Yeah. So, I have discussed with my brother about giving you the driving job, and he has accepted. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my princess, you should have. Hey, God, thank you. My princess. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Hi. Okay. Thank you. So, we'll be going in shortly to see him, right? And your salary for a start is going to be 50,000 naira monthly. Hey. If there's any need to increase it as we tag along, I will increase it. My princess, I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I really appreciate this from the depth of my heart. You are such a good and nice person. I've not seen any princess like you. Thank you so much. 
はいうわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわかわ I'm still thinking about it. Think, 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 think. Ah, uh -uh. where you did think they go? Look at your fine ear. So when are you giving me the answer? Huh? Eh, Chiru. Huh? When are you giving me the answer? So. Chiru. <laughs> Sweet baby, I'm with you. <laughs> Nobody will go anywhere. Baby, if you are to be me, eh? this will never happen. Tell me I brought Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody came to look for the princess. Who? I don't know. I've not seen this one face before. Never seen. <laughs> My own is that someone should go and tell him that it will not work. Bam. Because it is going to be a total waste of energy and time. Yeah? Mm -mm. This may work, oh, you never can tell. Oh. I just thought that, eh? Mm -hmm. Why are you talking as if you don't live in this palace? Like, you don't know what's in the apple. Exactly! Mm -hmm. Has it ever worked with any, any man before? This could be the last straw that will break the camera's back. Yeah. The princess is that camera's back that is, will be difficult to be broken. Well, if you say so, let's watch and see you. She was staying in this palace with watch and see. By the way, that man fine. Like, he, he, he fine. He tore, he tore he black, he fine. You for call me now? Mm. I for call you, me, I no be woman. You the crazy. I will see man, I can't call you, me. What do I get? I no be woman. Like, not not, 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 not call me, just, just the Why I go call you? Why I go call me? I no get with you, I no get with you, get it. Yeah, yeah. This is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The king will soon join us. Okay, my princess. And just so you know, my brother the king asks stubborn questions. So please try and comport yourself in his presence, okay? Definitely I will, my princess. Okay. My king. Yes, sir. Yes, king of the morning. I greet you. I greet you. You may sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is the driver I spoke to you about. Oh, okay. How long have you been driving? I've been driving all my life, Your Majesty. My friend, go straight to the point and save us all the time. Actually, I've been driving for about 20 years now. 20 years. Fair enough. My sister here insists you must be her driver. I don't know your capabilities, but with your experience, I believe you could. Your job specification is strictly to drive her. Nothing more, nothing less. Well understood, Your Majesty. On no account should you ever step out of this particular job description. Understood? Okay. Well, if you have any complaints you feel you couldn't tell her, one of the guards will bring you to me. Okay. Fine, you can start working immediately. You know I'll do anything for you, right? And you've just proven that right now. All right, I'll go back to what I was doing before I was called. Start work immediately. Here because you were raising your voice. Why won't I raise my voice, huh? 
Why don't I raise my voice? Don't start any stupid thing. We both could be fired. How? I expect you to give me an answer to my question. No, you're telling me one nonsense that we both will lose our job. What the hell were you doing with my man? Ah, uh ah. -uh. You're not the one that told me to go and talk to Bao on your behalf. Are you trying to tell me that is exactly what you are doing? Huh? Do you think I'm a fool? Oh, you don't believe me. You don't believe me or what? That is exactly what I'm still doing. Okay. So, what was his response? Well, he said he was going to talk to you one on one. I don't know, but uh, not to worry, I'll, I'll make it happen very soon, yes. <laughs> Chugo, thank you so, so much. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a gift. Really? Yes, if it works out. Uh -huh. Yes. What gift? Go, Chuck. I will not tell you <laughs> till then. So let me let me leave you with your happiness. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh no. Your refusal to return to the palace and assume duties is beginning to get on my nerves and I'm not taking it lightly. Like understand? The people who sack themselves from the boat should not turn around and accuse the other people of not giving them space in the same boat. And Arakuda Kako. What boat are you talking? Do you think I've come here to play? Your Majesty, what I'm asking the royal family to do is not rocket science. It is not complex and complicated. Once the royal family decides to do the right thing, then I will know that the coast is cleared for me to come back to the palace and start performing my duty as the Ono who of Omo Rekenda. Ono, oh your refusal to come back to work is beginning to affect me as king. Why don't you just soft pedal? I don't understand what you mean by soft pedal. As, as you, as you suspect that by sweeping the combination under the carpet and going ahead to behave as if something has happened? You know, is that what you want me to do? The festival of Nchekwa Boy is coming first and we are yet to start preparations. But, but don't you say, it is not my fault that we are not preparing for the festival. It is your fault, you know. How? You are the one holding the kingdom down. That's the point. Everything is set. Even my sister has indicated interest in leading the church. Oh, yes. Every other woman in this kingdom can lead the charge for that festival, but not the abominable one. I mean, the princess. Wait. Are you trying to tell me you are still keeping malice with my sister? I am not keeping malice with anybody. Why should I be keeping malice with the, with the, with the princess? What I am saying is that the right thing must be done. And I am asking you to let me handle the right thing and do it. But for now, you come and do your part. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I just said, but I will not do that. I'm sorry. But no, why are you disobeying the king of Omori? Why am I disobeying the king? You know, just I'm not disobeying the king. I am a man. I understand the rules. Disobeying the king of Omori is tantamount to death. I know it. I'm glad you're aware of that. Now, come to the palace and assume your duty. Um, I am not going to start my work as the know who of this kingdom until the princess has submitted herself for cleansing. Because, because. Oh no, with this fire you are instigating, I hope you're aware it will consume you when it starts. And what does that mean? Because of women, they will bear me witness that what I am asking the royal family to do is not bad. Oh, 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 oh. Our kingdom is sacred, and no one can rename our kingdom. Our kingdom. Great. 
Are you sure you don't want to eat or drink something? No, we won't. All right, let me go straight to the point then. We will appreciate that. The festival of Nchekwabo is around the corner and I want to lead the charge. Is, is that a problem? Not at all, my princess. Then why the cold reception? My princess, you are here to present yourself for the cleansing as requested by the Ono. Until you do that, where the medics of this land will not allow you to lead the festival of Nchekwa Bo. Yes. Ezina, is that true? Of course. This is actually because there is this abomination hanging around your neck. That is why we refuse to eat or drink from you. Thank you. Are you serious? Of course, yes. My princess, is there anything you want to say again? Is this a, a kind of gang up or something? <laughs> My princess, this is not a gang up. We're only asking you to do the right thing. And what stupid right thing are you talking about? My princess, you have committed an abomination in this land and you need to be cleansed. Oh, you shut that dirty thing you call a mouth. Excuse me? This is the least I expected from you. You shut up too. Now, let me ring this to your hearings. The earlier the three of you start making up your mind to stand behind me during the festival, <laughs> the better for all of you. Else, you will get worse than this. And who are you to trust in the maidens of Umori? Just so you know, I, Princess Ebubene, can kill anyone who dares to confront me <coughs> during the festival. <coughs> and the three of you are not exceptional. <coughs> Girls, let's go. Let's go. Get out. Leave! Oh, the impetus. The audacity! Papa! Hey! Papa, I see danger looming all around. No danger at all. Hey! There's no danger anywhere. Father, have you forgotten who the king is? That man is somebody who can go to any length to get whatever he wants, and that includes killing. Why are you so calm, Papa? That includes killing? Mm -hmm. So if somebody will tell you that Ezo Gris can kill your father, you will believe that? Papa, you're all that I have. That is why I am afraid, Papa. And I am telling you there is no reason for you to be afraid. Nothing will happen to me. But really, Papa, why can you not just ignore this man and move on? Why? I cannot ignore him. Because he is a king who lives in a palace. And the princess has been committing an abomination in that same palace. In the palace where the offer of our fathers is kept. That offer is what has made us who we are. An abomination is being committed near it. If that abomination is not cleansed, I'm telling you, yeah, it is going to clean all of us in the future. And there is no way I will allow that to happen. I don't even know why this is an abomination here. This nonsense is being done in all the big cities. And hey, I... Hey, hey. And the princess can now relocate to those big cities where the nonsense is allowed and live there. The sacredness of our journey is what has made us stick in this kingdom. And that same sacredness of our journey has been destroyed in all those cities. I'm not going to allow anybody to come into this kingdom and destroy what has made us sacred because she came back from overseas. It's not going to be possible. Uh, let this be the very last time you will, you will be discussing this thing with me.
How did the meeting with the maidens go? It didn't go well. Those maidens are classless. And I will mess them up, I swear. You cannot go to war with everyone. What happened? They are standing with your no know home. And you know what that means. They are prepared to go to war. And I will deal with them. I believe you know who is the one instigating them. Exactly my point, my queen. <laughs> you, you cannot see where I'm coming from. Because if he doesn't call this an abomination and insists that you should submit yourself for cleansing, the maidens won't follow suit. I need solutions. What, what, what are we going to do? You need to go see the Uno and tell him to step out of your way. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Just do it. If it turns out it's not the right thing, then we can start amending it from there. But for now, it's better than doing nothing at all. Our kingdom is a Girls, the princess is mean about this. What happened in the palace? We need not to be told that the battle line has been drawn. Huh. Exactly. But we have to brace up for the challenges. We have fought battles bigger than this. So we don't need to entertain any kind of fear. But what if she decides to reach out to the other maidens of the land? What do we do? We represent the leadership of the maidens of Omori Kingdom. So no matter what she does, she can't break us. You're right. But the princess is not going to be that easy. She's not going to be easy to fight with. Yes. Uh-uh. Your words suggest fear. Mm -hmm. Are you giving up already? Not at all. We just need to be careful because the princess fights so dirty just like her father the king. Mm -hmm. The princess that I know, she can go to any length just to achieve what she wants. To hell with her. Who does she think she is? Mm -hmm. Let her bring it on. We are waiting. The only way we can defeat the princess is if we stick together and fight together. It is now left for us to stick together and fight together. At this point, girls, we need to stay together, mm -hmm. fight together, mm -hmm. and win this together. Exactly. One soul yeah. and one spirit. We move. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, the king and queen. Please sit. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. I'd love to go straight to the reason I invited you, so you can go back to what you were doing before you were summoned. I will appreciate that, Your Majesty. The festival of Nchekwabo is fast approaching. And typically, we should have started preparations by now. You know that. I know. But you know who has refused to perform his duties. Why? You see, six months ago in this palace, he caught the princess doing something he considered an abomination. Since then, he's been insisting that the princess must go for cleansing. This should not be a problem. If a man like Ono Umendu has said the princess committed an abomination and is cleansing, it should be done immediately. You should not be against it. I am not against it, Ichi. What I am against is the attention it's going to draw to the royal household. How are people going to view it? They'll begin to sniff. How do we explain that scenario? Did you explain this to him? I very well did. 
but he insisted that the princess must go for that cancer. Is he having issues with the princess? I don't know. I intend to find out. But in any case, if he's having any problem with the princess, the least he could do is come to the palace. We table it and sort it out. Not hide under the guise of cleansing to wage a war against my sister. I've heard you, Your Majesty. I'll talk to him and get back to you. Good. When am I expecting you to get back to me? Before the week runs out. No, no, Chief, please. We are telling you that the festival is fast approaching. If we leave four days, which we have now, between now and next week, it would have approached. So I'd rather you give me feedback as soon as possible. Let's see how tomorrow will look like. Perfect. I'll be expecting you. Thank you. Have a nice day. What are you talking about? So, and why is your face like this? So you have been sleeping with my man. Who is your man? <laughs> do not pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. But to be sincere, I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yes. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, first, let me tell you. I saw you having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with Uba. And when I asked you, you told me that you were talking about me. But that's nothing but the truth. Each time I stood with Uba, I was always talking about you. <laughs> really? Yes. You sneak out of Uba's room last night. What did you go there to do? I was thinking you have something meaningful to say, but it is obvious you do not have. Chugo, are you mad? No, is something wrong with you? Ada could leave me alone. Are you mad? Like, is your head paining you? Okay. I can see you want to play ignorant because you can no longer defend yourself, right? Do you want to know the truth? Tell me. What nonsense truth? Uba. Liar! <laughs> you are a big liar! The sacred places of Umuri will bear me witness that I went to meet Uba to tell him that you love him. But instead, he chose me! Look at you! And you want me to believe that nonsense? It is up to you to believe! <laughs> really? Look at you! No, look at yourself! Husband snatcher! Do you hear me? Husband snatcher, that is what you are! You know what? I am going to deal with you! I will so deal with it. I would when next you see me. Chiago, <laughs> when next you will see me. You will not cross the same line with me. You can go and ask him, madam. I am the preferred. Shut up! <laughs> Fool. Yes, come in. My princess, greetings. Greetings? What is it? My princess, you have been so angry today. What is the problem? Nothing. Oh, no, I disagree. This is not my princess that I know. Something is bothering you. Please tell me what the problem is. You're actually right. But trust me, it's nothing to worry about. My princess, I can always be of help, no matter what it is. So, try and tell me what it takes. Caesars, it is women's affairs. And that is why I didn't want to bother you with it in the first place. Yes. Women's affairs. Well, if you say so, but I want my princess to try and share up, at least be happy. You know, a happy soul has a connection with a happy spirit. Ultimately, that advanced state of happiness reflects on the body. I can tell you that nothing can beat it. Hmm. 
That's very brilliant. Where did you learn that? My princess, where I learned what I just said is not as important as the smile that you just raised up in your face now. You are so angelic and charming when you smile. Can you please do that quite often? It will make me happy. My princess, you're not saying anything. Oh, that's because I was actually reflecting on the things you've said. But wait, were you actually saying I have not been looking beautiful all these days? Oh, no, no, I didn't say it. That's not what I mean. You look more angelic and charmingly beautiful when you smile. <laughs> Case yeah. what? What? I just made you smile. <laughs> you just have your way with words. Such a funny guy. <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. This is my greatest achievement since this year. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, congrats. <laughs> hey, my princess, someone is there to see you. Who? She didn't mention her name. Uh, it's here, you go, my brother. <laughs> You're welcome one more time. I have a drink for you. Um, oh no, I'm not here for drink, please. Well, I shouldn't want to drink. I have dry meat. Should I get some for you? I know. Jim Konya, what is going on? This year, Jim Konya that I know is a lover of meat. Why are you finally not interested in eating dry meat? Oh, no, you are right. But I'm having tooth problem. And that may be to cut down on her eat meat. I see. So, why are you here? Ibe sent me. I thought as much. Why did he send it? Oh no, my brother. Look, you have to end this war. The king openly said to me, you are getting on his nerves. And such wars are not supposed to come from the Igwe about his own. Well, I need you to understand something that I don't understand it myself. Why all of you are referring to what is happening between the king and I as being at war? I am not at war with anybody. I am the Onohu of Umunre Kingdom, not the Onohu of Ezo Gilis as an individual. When it comes to this kingdom, the kingdom comes first. You need to understand that. You may decide to play politics for what I'm just saying, but you know it very well. When Onohu is having problem with the king, it is not good for the kingdom. I am not having any problem with the king. The princess is the one who committed an abomination. And she must have to submit herself for cleansing. She has to swear on the offer of woman the kingdom that she will no longer commit the same abomination I caught her red handed committed. Mm. This is the right time you can explain this to me. What exactly are you talking about? What exactly did the princess do that you would as an abomination that cannot be forgiven? What is going on here? It was after this event of catching her red handed that I started to investigate the princess. I found out she has been committing this same abomination in that palace Hi. where the offer of Umuri is kept. Not listen, the very day I caught them red handed, she was committing this abomination very close to the place where the offer was kept. Any other person may elect to ignore that. Not you know. I don't know what to say right now. You don't need to say anything. She has to submit for cleansing. I have told her, submit for cleansing, and she refused. Exactly. She needs to be cleansed. But let me ask, is there no other way? There's no other way. No other way. 
She must, she must. And then what do I tell the king? Tell him that I am insisting on the class. Now, of course, he knows that that is what I am going to say. He is only wasting his time sending you to come here and speak. Hi. You want to my Greetings, my princess. Ego, how are you? I am well, thank you. Haven't they offered you something to eat? No, 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 no. I told them not to offer me anything. There is this abomination hanging around your neck. That is why we refuse to eat or drink from you. Thank you. Are you serious? Of course, yes. My princess, is there anything you want to say to me? Why? I do not want to eat anything, my princess. Thank you. Okay. I'm here now so we can talk. Right. Uh, you see, my princess, I care about you a lot. That is why I have come to discuss this with you. It's nice to know you care about me. Thank you. My princess, you are about to miss out on something that is a great landmark to your existence as the princess. And what is that? Leading the festival. <laughs> I can't miss out on that. Yes, it is my birthright. And I'm going to lead the church. On the contrary, you're about to miss out on it. You're just ignorant of that fact. And why, if I may ask? The maidens have met and decided not to attend should you be the one to lead the church. And you know they must attend are done in their innocent form according to our custom and tradition. Why are you getting all of this information? My princess, I am part of the leadership of the maidens and what I have just told you is the agenda of the meeting the maidens are having this weekend. Our minds are made up. The only thing that can change it is if you decide to do the cleansing my father is suggesting. Oh, exactly. Now I know where you're coming from. So your stupid father sent you to me to brainwash me into accepting the cleansing, right? My stupid father. <laughs> On the contrary, you're wrong, my princess. Because my father has no idea whatsoever. I'm here to see you. Then go back and tell the maidens that I will lead the church. And if they fail to file out as custom and tradition demands, I will lay curses on them. In other words, you are willing to lay curses on all the maidens in this land. Are you sure you can do that, my princess? Mm -hmm. Until then. You see, my princess, you cannot achieve anything with this style of yours. The maidens of this land are not people you can force to do things against their will, even if you are the princess. Ego, I am done talking with you. Go back and tell the maidens that I, Princess Ebubeni, I am not like every other person. And as the princess of Umuri Kingdom, I demand to be respected. Now leave. Very well then. Good day. Our kingdom is sacred, and no one can remain. Our kingdom is sacred. Hey, please come down. Tell us what's the problem. Chugo is my problem. That care is my problem. If she doesn't stay away from me, I swear with everything I hold sacred, I'll crush her. It has not gotten to that, Adago. Besides, you have not told us what she did to you. She smashed my man. Eh? Who? How? She knows how. All I want both of you to do is to take my message to her. Tell her to stay away from me or else she'll have me to contend with. This is the highest level of madness. Ma. Look at both of them are dragging one man. Ha! 
But the thing is, me, I don't even understand. Like, I don't understand what is happening. I don't understand. I don't get it. The only uh, thing we will do here is to comfort Ch uh, Chugu. Eh? And hear her own side of the story. And that's true. Dragging common palace guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You my man, leave my man. How the palace made you be? Eh, hey, now watch baby be dragging palace guard. You not get boyfriend, no get uh, what if you die your guy name so uh, come up body job. Ah. My man, I was thinking I am the baddest in this palace. Little did I know that the legend himself is here. So tell me, how did you run it? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything at all. That stupid girl is just killing herself for nothing. Why would you say that? The news is all over the palace that you jilted her for her friend. Now, the question you should ask is, was she my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Okay, even if she is not your girlfriend, but you have visited her wonderland, her inner carcass. Chineke. No, I haven't though. Huh? I have not. But I have seen you two countless number of times in a room. Huh? Alone. So, even if you have seen us countless numbers of times in the room, does not mean we have done anything. I come the other. Are you okay? Are you walking? Ask me the question properly. I don't understand what you mean. Like, is your this thing? Hey, hey, Onyeka. On a roll of a man. It's working. 100% voltage. Mm. I'm still trying to understand why you will be in the room with a gear and her inner clothes is outside and you did not do anything. Hey. My brother, let me tell you. It's not every food that is being served on the table that one needs to eat. Sometimes, some are poison and some are above the neighbor. That's the truth. Oh, but you now speak to me in riddles. I am made to understand that those that speak in riddles are dangerous. So I'm not surprised. You're not speaking in riddles. Take it at face value. I don't have time to explain my riddles to you. You don't need to explain them. But you should know one thing for sure. This sort of temptation that is coming your way, if 10% of it comes an inch near me, 10% of this kind of temptation, I will swim in temptation. Hey! <laughs> I will devour the girl. I will chop her like never before. Onyeku! It's me. Onyeka, Onyeka! Just me. Onyeka the Budoza! We are not one. Asalama for you. Did you get Yes, come in. Greetings to the most beautiful princess of Omori Kingdom. Greetings, scissors. Any problem? Actually, there is no problem, my princess. But even if there is, we are going to solve that problem without disturbing you. I only came to check on the most beautiful princess of our kingdom and to say good night to the princess. Amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Always looking angelic. I just thought you were going to blow my mind. Please stop. Okay. I'm going to use that one to hold body and soul together tonight. The princess, let me leave now. <laughs> um, scissors. Just, let's go. Sit. Yes. Sit. What if the king walks in? <laughs> don't worry about the king. Mm -hmm. This is my room. So don't worry, I'll talk to the king. You don't have a problem. Okay. Just that I'm afraid of the king, girl. Come on. <laughs> you don't have anything to be afraid of. Mm. Okay. I love the smell of your color. What are you wearing? Is that a compliment or what is the name of your colour? Okay. Close your eyes, Natalie. Just close my eyes? Yes. <laughs> Just close your eyes, <laughs> Close it for me, not close it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> eyes closed. 
I'm so seeing it though. <laughs> Alright, so. Are you sure it's closed? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 I can see you both are enjoying the food. Hmm. You can say that again. I'm glad. I prepared this specially for you. I thought as much. So when are you cooking for us? Soon. <laughs> okay then. We'll be waiting. The both of you should just relax. I got something better. We await your surprise. <laughs> Same here. Brother, hmm? I have something to tell you. Go ahead. I, I think I like scissors. Scissors? Is that what you prefer now? I, I mean it's brother. It's a nice guy. Hey! Scissors is an inanimate object. You cannot ascribe him to it. My love, I think what she's trying to say is that she likes her driver, who is equally her personal assistant, right? Yes, my queen. He's a nice guy, brother, and I like him. <sighs> I don't know what you're on about, but if what my instinct is telling me is right, then you cannot fall in love with your driver. Ah, there he goes again. Always imposing himself on everything. Oh, this has got nothing to do with imposition. Do you know who you are? You are falling in love with your own drive. How do I explain this to my friends? I mean it, brother. Okay, alright, please. Can we just stop? That's it. We can have this discussion later. There is no further discussion on this. This topic ends here on the table. The princess sent me a text message. Huh. What does she want? I don't know. But she said she wants to meet us. God forbid. After walking us out of the palace, I can't go back there. Me and Didi, I will never go back to the palace. Hmm. Never. I was about suggesting that. After what she did that day, I can't afford to go back there. Do you know it was as if the ground should open, let me enter. Me as in they can't go back there. I can't. But meeting place shouldn't be an issue. Just in case we decide to meet up with her. I think Amoga is right. I mean, we can meet anywhere. Ego, where do you think it's appropriate to meet her? It's not bad. Ah, no way. We may get distracted by people coming to see me or my father. I think here is a little bit too busy for such a meeting. So, where do you think that will be okay for the meeting? Actually, anywhere quiet will be fine. I mean, it could even be under the tree before the vocational center. It's kind of calm there. It's okay. But do you think she's going to come there? Why wouldn't she? I mean, she wants to see us. This time around, she is coming to us. She has to. In case she can't come there, I have a better place we will meet her. So I think I will communicate that to her. As for me, Zine, I don't have a problem seeing her. Better. Is that okay by you girls? Better. Okay. 
you've been smiling on along. So tell me, what is the secret of this precious smile on your beautiful face? You know, for over a decade now, I felt like a real woman inside of real estate. Mm -hmm. How? I don't seem to understand. You drove me crazy last night. I, I never knew you had such energy. <laughs> Jeez. My princess. It was such a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My princess, the way you qualify things, eh, can actually make someone give you his or her hat on a platter. <laughs> that would be a perfect thing to do. Having your heart with such energy of yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, please stop. <laughs> You're making me to blush. I'm glad <laughs> I can make you blush. <laughs> so, really? Um, mm -hmm. Can I ask you for a favor? Go ahead. Can we please see tonight? Is that all the favor you want to ask? Yes. <laughs> a princess, I mean, it's something I should do for my boss easily without even thinking twice. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it freely. Thank you. Thank you very much. You shouldn't be thanking me, my princess. Huh? I should be the one saying thanks to you. Why? Because you did me a favor. You, you gave me a job. I mean, something that a lot of people are even looking for the privilege. Look at me here having it on a platter of gold. Huh? Scissors. There's a way God works. And I think it actually brought us together for a reason. Yes. And I am extremely happy that we met. Concentrate and drive. <laughs> okay. So, so, so. Your wish is my command, my princess. <laughs> so let's go straight to the point. I know you all want the good of the land as much as I do. And sometimes, you know, we disagree, but it's necessary for a better community. My princess, you're right. Sometimes we disagree to agree. Absolutely. Um, so, if I may ask, why do you bring us here? I want you all to please bury my past, forgive and forget whatever I must have done wrong, and accept this little token as a form of appreciation. Yes. <laughs> Sorry if I may ask you, what is inside the bag? It's money, three million. <laughs> uh, see, don't worry, it's big enough to offset your bills, and you're still going to have reasonable amounts left in your purses for future years. I'm sorry, my princess, but we don't need it. We don't need it at all. So, you brought us here to bribe us. Ego, can you imagine? <laughs> Bribe? This has nothing to do with bribing. It's just a token of my appreciation, like I said. A token of appreciation. Appreciation. What a sugar-coated way to put it. Tehwa. Tehwa. Maidens, shall we now proceed to excuse ourselves from this insult? Yes, I am already taking my leave. I don't think. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. What about the money? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I have already granted you access into my living room. Even when you have not uttered a word of greeting, I'm expecting you to go straight to the point. If there is anything you want to say, just say it. Whatever you're planning will never work. Never! You need to understand something. I am not one of those political leaders. I am a rooted onyenze who has received the mark of Ibo Bonze on the tongue. You have to be very careful. Cutting demands that each time you see me, you are not just going to respect me, but you must humble yourself and say what you want to say Stop before me. Don't that sacred bullshit. A schemer like you does not deserve my respect. Never. Never! You know, you have pushed me to the wall several times, Ibo Bonze. But I keep ignoring you because each time I will remember your late father who was my very good friend. Oh, please. Leave my father out of this. He is dead and gone. I want to ask you a simple question, Anu. Why are you frustrating me? Why? I am the Onowu of Omunre. And there is no way I will frustrate any citizen of this kingdom, let alone the princess. Oh, please. Oh, no, my foot. You know, I know. Your stocking thread is to move around town insulting people. But do not make me one of those people you insult because the Bubonze is going to hit you so hard. Stop frustrating me. Allow me to live my life to the fullest and exactly the same way I want it. Let me be! Well, I don't have any problem with you living your life. Whatever useless life you are living, that you are proud of. Listen, you may go back to that place where you learnt it from and continue to live there. This place is Umuri, where we have rules, where we have tradition. And there is no way I am going to allow somebody like you to come here and turn things upside down. Oh, mama. Oh, no. From all indication, you have declared war between yourself and the royal family. And war you shall get! Nonsense! You know, when the Ogene makes so much noise, we will just remind it that we know the blacksmith created it. Achaka. My God. Achaka, my man. Finally, God has answered your prayers. You can say that again and again. My God. I just wish to be you. <laughs> and why will you wish that? See, let me tell you. I have been on the tales of Uduka ever since I developed feelings for her. Up till date, she has not given me green light. Like, no hopes. Oh. Onyeka. Onyeka. I have told you countless number of times to forget that girl. You refuse. You are hair bent in following that girl. Let him be. You never can tell. There is nothing to tell. There is nothing to tell. That girl is very stubborn. Eh? Considering the fact that other girls must have fed her with his bad lifestyle. <laughs> what is your problem, Oba? Eh? They say the patient dog eats the fattest bone. You, you want to eat bone? Look, in this palace, Udoka is the fattest boom. And I am very, very patient. I know you are saying all these things for me to give up, eh? You want me to give up? I will not. I will never give up. I will keep pestering her till she succumbs. You are very stubborn. Uh, you will not listen to me. Listen to me, my brother. I'm telling you. Chief, leave that girl. Forget that girl. Why did you stop? My princess, I, I want us to talk. I am not in the mood to talk. I know. That's why I am pleading with you to please kindly oblige my request of having just a three minutes discussion with you. My princess, I know you can do it for me, please. Okay, let's talk. You see this battle. 
It is a battle of tact and diplomacy. You cannot win it with physical force or threat. Not possible. Force is the only language they will understand and I will use it on them. If you fail to listen to me, certainly you're going to blow things out of proportion. So, what do you advise me to do? Good. We are going to discuss this at home, but I want you to first of all, cheer up, calm your nerves down. My princess, see, with me by your side, you are certainly going to win this battle. Trust me. I can't wait. <sighs> That's good. One more thing. What? Smile for me. Jesus, I'm not in the mood to smile, please. My princess, please smile for me. Your smile makes me so happy. I don't even know how you get me to do these things. That's my princess. Your smile. I don't want to get angry with Ono. As it stands now, he's pushing me very hard, and what is left for me is to bounce back. Oh, a little more patience, Your Majesty. I keep talking to him till he changes his mind. We are running out of time. That is my worry. I know. Take it easy on him. Please. At this point, Ono will be the one to determine if I will take it easy on him because he has pushed me to the wall. Just hold on a little. Just hold on a little. Eh? Before taking any action, I will talk to him. Take it from me. So, if, if I should go by your advice that I hold on a little, how long do you think we're looking at? Before the end of this month, I must come up with something good. You're sure about that? Exactly, I'm sure. It's all right. Good. I'll wait till then. Good. I have to be on my way. All right. Have a nice day. <sighs> this guy is so full of wisdom. When he talks to me, I feel so much at home. Honestly, I think I'm in love with this guy. But my brother won't even let him come anywhere close to me. What am I supposed to do? What will I do? <sighs> yes, hello? Sweetheart. Lady Charlotte. Yes, darling, how are you? Where have you been? I've been searching for you everywhere. I even came to your house and your gate was locked. Your phones have been switched off. But what's, what's going on? That's what your brother wants. So I have to let you for now. My brother? I don't understand. That's not what we will discuss on the phone. I need to see you. <sighs> okay, it's fine. So where do I meet you? Where, where are you so I can meet you up there? All right, I will test you the hotel where I'm lodged. Please, just send the address right away, okay? Fine. One more thing. What? Prepare yourself because you'll be spending the night with me. Oh, come on. Do you even have to remind me of this? I've missed you so much, my love. I'll miss you more, baby. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> Yes, come in. Greetings to the most beautiful princess the kingdom of Umuri ever <laughs> had. What are you doing? I have just come to fulfill the promise that I made to you this oh, afternoon. Oh, come on, please. It's not now, Joe. <laughs> I 
Odako. Why are you spreading my name as man snatcher? We are in a relationship with Uba. <laughs> Are you not a man snatcher? I am not and I want you to stop. Then stay away from my man. <laughs> See, let me tell you, if that's your little antics for me to leave Uba, it will never work. Then get ready for war. I will give it to you anyhow you want it. Oh, is that a threat? Yes. No, are you challenging me? Yes. <laughs> See, Chugum, you will regret ever standing on my way. Really? Yes. Is that a threat? Call it whatever you want. See, let me tell you, let me tell you that one. If you try anything stupid, if you try anything stupid, I will crush you. I will humble you. Da! Da! Shut up! Shut up, you dear! Shut up your mouth! You cannot do anything. Look at you, fool. Go, go, touch it, shut up! Stop! You cannot do anything. No problem. We shall see. I will be waiting for you. Chugo, I will be waiting for you! <laughs> Stay away from Uba! Stay away from him! Yeah. Fool! Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's not taking my calls. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with my girl? It's getting late. It is a taboo for a woman to lay a fellow woman in a life. So tell me, what is the source of your strength on bed? My princess, it is true love. Hmm. I don't understand. You know, when a man loves a woman, I mean genuine love, they can go on hours, naturally. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, are you saying that you love me? Yes, of course. I love you and not just loving you, I love you with everything in me. I love you so much, just that I'm unable to open up to you. Maybe because I'm shy. Also. I know that you love me. Mm -hmm. How do you know? By your body language, your gestures, you know, the things you say and how you say them, especially how you cheek me dead. <laughs> you know, the most important thing is, I love you too, but can you make a promise to me? What is that, my princess? I want this love to last long. Wow. My princess, as long as I live and as long as I'm alive, I promise you that this love will last to the end of time. Is that a promise? Absolutely. And not just a promise, but a promise of love made from the depth of my heart. was an ice. I'm glad you know. But I love him. And I wish that you approve of our relationship. Never. Mother, please. You've always wanted me to get involved with a man and make something good out of my life. Now I have found someone I am in love with. I don't want you to kill whatever I feel for him, please. I have always wanted you to get involved with a man. 
but certainly not with a low life. Does that matter? It does matter. Why do you keep forgetting you're a princess, you're royalty? You have a certain class. Any man that's going to marry you should be in that class. It doesn't always work like that, brother. Well, it works in most cases, and in this, it certainly will work. Please, I love this man. I just want you to approve of this relationship for once. Please, brother. Please. It seems to me you do not realize what I'm capable of. At this point, I don't even care whatever you're capable of. We're talking about my happiness here. I just want you to be reasonable for once, for once, brother. By that, are you saying I'm not reasonable? I didn't say so. You just said that, and I will not take it lightly with you. Why? Why do you always misjudge me, though? Why? I don't ever want to see that man around you again. Then you. Um, it's a great and no one can rename our kingdom. It's a great and no one can rename it. So we fight with all of our strength. Greatness of our life must be held in high esteem. Oh, I be fine with all our might for the sake of our life. Smickers, Smickers, I know I forgot. I really fucked up big time. You know what happened now? You see, we, we fell in love with each other. You know where two people are in love now. If you're that thing you say is just far, 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 far. So along the line, we lost control of our feelings, of our emotions. We didn't even know what we're doing. You understand? So everything just gone wrong. I believe she'll convince the king to bring you back to the palace. Yeah. Let me tell you, that is the last thing the king will ever do, guy. Why do you think so, bro? Because he warned me. He warned that I should never have carnal knowledge of the princess. Shit. See why I say that you fucked up. You fucked up, man. Bro, you fucked up. I'm not denying it. I know I, 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 I really messed up. I, 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 I messed up big time, you know. And I can't say I didn't mess up. So what's the plan? If I tell you I have any plans as we speak, I'm lying. I don't have any plan right now. Maybe you suggest for me and as my guy. Tell me if there is any, any way out. Bro, you believe me? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't believe I believe me? you? Are you not my guy again? I will tell you what to do, bro. You're my guy. See, huh? you call the princess. Start up your relationship with the princess. This time around, you approach from the front. Yeah. <laughs> with which phone should I call the princess with? Now, when this king removed my phone before he bundled me out of the palace, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any phone with me. Is it that serious? Yeah. I'm telling you that this thing is serious. You're still asking me if, if it's serious, eh? That means all this thing I've been telling you now, you were not even Shit. following up. Let me say, I'm just tired, man. I have another suggestion. Go to the palace. You try to get to one guard, you know, tell the guard to call out the princess. Maybe she might not have an idea what is happening, or the brother sees your phone. What do you think? The palace that the king warned me never to get close to. Uh, oh, that's a very big problem. It's a very big problem. <sighs> Greetings, my princess. How are you? You came alone? Yes. You made a proposal to the leadership of the maidens of the land, which was outrightly rejected. Yes. And at some point, I was wondering if you don't need the money. Of course, I need the money. That's exactly why I'm here. Hmm. Good. So, if I give you the money, what do I get in return? I will buy other maidens over and make them see Ezini and Indidia as bad people. 
people are unforgiving. I don't know what the good for the princess. Before you know it, they will self pedal and you have your way. Hmm. Brilliant idea. But are you sure you can do this? It's an easy task. I'm doing my princess. <laughs> All right then. You just hold on for some minutes. I'll get the money. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. So let's kick the ball rolling. There is nothing much to discuss, Your Majesty. I love your sister a lot, and I would love to make her my wife. Oh. <laughs> but this is not the kind of journey you embark on alone. I mean, marriage is not a child's play. It's a union of two families. You should be here with at least one member of your family. I know that, Your Majesty. But the princess is yet to say yes. So that's why I choose to make this journey alone. I came to plead with you to help me talk to her. I see. I'll talk to her, you know, but then the decision to get married to you is entirely hers to make. I know that, Your Majesty. Good. I appreciate if you can help me in any way you can. Call the princess. Yes, Your Majesty. How are you? Very well, Baba. Thank you. You requested to see me. Yes, sis. So this young man is here because of you. I'd love for you to hear what he has to say from his own mouth. Okay. Jasper, over to you. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Princess Ebubene. The pride of Umari Kingdom. <laughs> I came to see your brother because I would love to make you my wife. Just like that? Yes, my dear. I'm a man of few words, but full of action. Very well then. I am not interested. I beg to return. I'll, I'll be with you shortly. You know that was rude of you. Why would you walk out on this you talk? He chose to embarrass himself. How? By coming to seek for my hand in marriage without my consent. It doesn't work that way, brother. Even at that, you shouldn't have worked out like that on him. Well, he deserves what he got, and I'm not regretting. Ebubene, you will go back there, continue that discussion, and conclude with him. I will do no such thing, brother, because I do not have anything to discuss with him. So I am not going. Do not push me, Ebubene. Let me ring it into your head so that you know where I stand in all of this. Better begin to make up your mind to marry Jasper. Are you going to force me to marry who I don't want to get married to? If it means me forcing you, I'm going to do that. <sighs> There's something you're not understanding here, brother. I am not one of those your village maidens that you can cajole into doing anything you want them to do without their consent. I am an international lady and it should be treated as such. Look at me in the face. Do I look like someone who cares about your international status? This is Africa. Omori Kingdom. And here we have culture and tradition. Which you 
must abide by. Uh, to carry you to come from that place. What happened? Ibubene is getting on my nerves, and if she's not careful, she'll feel my wrath. What did she do? How could she keep turning down suitors? For how long? Do you mean she has a suit? A very responsible young man, sitting right in there. The kind of man I want for her. Why would she keep doing this? So what exactly is she saying? As usual, she's not interested. Not a problem, my husband. I'll talk to her, I'll get back to you. Please, you talk to her. If she continues this way, she will not like the dark side of me. My husband, it's okay. You need to take it easy and not let issues that connect to the princess upset you so much. All right? Got your BP. I've been trying so hard to restrain myself, but Ibubene is pushing me. She's pushing me and she will not like what comes. <sighs> Sorry for that display of disrespect. It's okay, Your Majesty. I completely understand. Yeah, I... I think you should go for now, okay? I'll talk with her and then probably give you feedback and tell you when, when next to come so we can push forward. No problem. So when do I come back? Um... I, can I have a business card? I'll give you a call. It's in my card. Or you don't bother then um I'll hand it to him, he'll bring it to me. I'll call you. Okay. Alright, wish you. You're welcome. This this demon that is okay. You swine! You're so shameless and disgusting. Oh, was that free? So you can use it for like here. <laughs> come, 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 move it. You see that money you collected from the princess? You have to return it. Eh? You have to return it to... Over my dead body. Awesome. You heard me right. You must return it. Returning that money is not a debate. It's an order you must obey. And even if it takes doing it over your dead body, you will do it over your dead body. Wow. Do your worst. I will not return the money. Do your worst! <laughs> wait, wait. Did you just say that? You heard me right. Do your worst. Really? The least you three can do is remove me from being part of the executive of the Umuri Kingdom. On the contrary, you will be more than suspended. Yes, you will actually be banned from making any public contact with any of the indigents of this land. Hey, hey! All hail the King of Umuri Kingdom, whose words are true and power. The earlier you all wake up from that dream, the better for you all. Eh? Uh, you heard did, me right. Didn't did just call this a dream? Eh? Big dream, oh. <laughs> Not just ordinary dream. Malaria serious dream. Mm. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. <laughs> eh? <laughs> you see this one? You are not getting away with it. I can assure you that. It's a promise. You guys don't have anything good to say. I just wasted my time coming here. Ah. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going to? How dare you walk out on us? Are you stupid? Is something wrong with your head? I'm asking you. Indeedy. Indeedy. Do you just push me? And I dare to push you. Are you stupid? Are you mad? I can see the dirty money you've touched is beginning to give you some wings. But if you don't shut that pit hole you call a mouth, I am going to beat you here like a common thief. And indeed, you will return that money over your dead body. Are you mad? Because we are being gentle. You have the audacity to talk back after doing such a thing. Are you stupid? Imagine, 
and listen to me. If you try to make a move one more time or say anything, I'm going to beat you. In fact, we will beat you black and blue and you will not survive it. Hmm. Don't dare. Hmm. You heard her. Hmm. Open that trash and see what oh. I'm... I will show all of you. You're, 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 still, will... you're still talking. Ah. Open that your mouth again. Oh, 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 oh. Idiot. That's what it, thing. girl. Look at her. Do you even know your way to court? Swine. No. Do you know your way to court? Uh, no, the money she has touched has all of a sudden, all of a sudden oh, she knows the court. Open that <laughs> trash you call a mouth again. Amoge, open that trash you call a mouth again. I mean just as little as breathe and watch me choke life out of you. And return listen. that money over your dead body. Yes. Swine. And listen, turn here. I am giving you. Standing. Two days, Amoge. Two days, just two days to return that money. Else, you wouldn't like what will happen to you. Remember, a stubborn fly goes to the grave with the cops. Swine. Let's you heard her. Today. You you heard her. Look at her. It's two pieces. I want to have a simple and direct discussion with you. Okay, I'm listening. First, I am sorry for the way I behaved the other day when you came to see my brother. I came to see you, not your brother. I am still talking. Do not interrupt me when I'm talking. I'm sorry. First, you did not make your intentions known to me before coming to the palace. Secondly, and most importantly, I am in love with someone else. So I cannot and will not marry you. Princess, I love you. And I want to make you my wife, if you wish. It seems you do not understand what I just said. I did. Then if you did, I expect you to leave. All I ask for you is just a time to talk with you. Nothing else. I don't have a time and I do not have a space in my heart for you. It's obvious you are not in your right frame of mind. I will go and come back later so we can talk. I advise you don't come back here with your two left legs because I don't have anything to discuss with you. Excuse me. Hmm. What is it? Have you spoken with her? Not yet. Why? You should have had this conversation by now. I forgot. How could you forget such a sensitive thing? It's only natural to forget. I'm human. Listen, we have a very precarious situation in our hands. And you cannot be forgetting. Sorry about that. Once I leave your presence, I'll go straight to her chambers. Please do, it's important. Can I ask you a question, my husband? Yeah, go ahead. Why the hurry? Because I do not want her to miss this man. He is a perfect man for her. He's the one I want her to get married to. And what if she insists she's not going to marry him? That is where you come in. Talk to her. She listens to you. She takes your advice. Maybe after you have conversed with her, she'll sway her opinion. All right. I'll try. Don't try. Accomplish it, please. It wouldn't be that easy. I know. But you're a woman and you have that magic. Greetings, Your Majesty. You finally decided to show your face. And that is because I came to give you an important information. The princess is about to be given to a destroyer. A destroyer who is going to destroy this kingdom. You are not seeing it. And that is why you are doing everything possible to make it happen. Where is this coming from, Olu? 
You see, the destroyer I am talking about is doing everything within his power to achieve his aim. When that happens, the princess will not be the only one who will be destroyed. It is going to tamper with the very soul of your reign and that you will not be able to overcome it. So, what is your source of information? Ojadele is that seer of Onungere that nobody can ignore. I consulted him and he spoke to me directly. You may need to consult him yourself. Our kingdom is sacred and no one can rename. Our kingdom is sacred and no one can rename. So we fight with all of our strength. How did he go? She's proving stubborn at the moment. Do you think this will work? Yes, definitely it's going to work. She's only been a woman. Jasper, you really need to make this work. You don't need to be reminded of what is involved. I will do everything humanly possible to make it work. That's all I want to hear from you. It's good. It's here, Your Majesty. You may leave. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Please sit. Thank you. You see, letting you in here should go a long way to tell you how much I wanted to work between you and my sister. I sincerely appreciate Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you. You see, I've been talking to my sister. I need you to marry her because you are the kind of man I want for her. Thank you very much. That's kind of you. But you have an important role to play in all of this. Your Majesty, any role you want me to play, I'm good to go. Good. You are the one who wants to marry her. I am just her brother and king. If you want to marry a woman, you should be able to talk her into that. So I want you to talk her into agreeing to marry you. Your Majesty, I spoke with her yesterday and if being given the opportunity to speak to her more, I will do that. In that case, stay put. I'm coming. Let me go prepare her mind to receive you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome.
Hello? I have the stuff. Good. Then start coming immediately. No. He asked me to wait. Jasper, you already have what we want. There's no need wasting more time in that palace. Okay. Ha! Huh. The lions are falling for me in pleasant places. It is time to render Ezogilis useless. He will beg. Ezogilis will plead for mercy and mercy will be very far from him. Mm. Time to play the game. Yeah. I am not interested. And that is fine now, brother. I've already told you where my heart belongs. And nothing can change it. Ibubene, how can you settle for a pauper when you have a well-to-do man asking for your hand in marriage? What is it? Please consider him. My heart belongs somewhere else. You're of a certain class. You cannot go below your standard because your heart is playing games with you. Order from the king. I'm on you, sir. Are you joking? No, I'm not. You want to search me? Why? Order from the king. Your majesty! Your boys are insisting on searching me. What do you mean you don't understand what is going on? Of course. I gave them the order to search you. Why? I just had an urgent call. I want to go and attend. I'm still coming back. So why are they searching me? I kept you in a place where even the soul of this kingdom is kept. Anybody can make away with anything. And you know anything that leaves the palace hardly comes back. This is an embarrassment to my personality. Onye is a how. You see, Jasper, there's only one way to find that out. And that's for you to allow yourself to be searched. But, uh... I think you're embarrassing this guy. There are seers in this kingdom, Ibubenne. You may not believe it, but indeed, there are seers. Search him. Hey! He's a thief! Your Majesty, I can explain. So you are the evil that invaded my abode in the guise of an in-law? Your Majesty, I can explain. This is a setup by your enemies. They've been planning to destroy you from the beginning. Who? I think he's the one calling me. Pick the call and put it on speaker. Hello? Just bring the ancient of all to me. Eh? I have contacted the buyer and they're willing to pay up to a million dollars. We are rich, bro. Just bring the ancient of all to me and the rest is history. It's okay, I'm already on my way. Your Majesty, please. Please. Hey!
by the time I'm done with that young man, he will regret targeting this family. I understand the members of the vigilante have gone to pick up his other partner in crime. Exactly. And I will expose them to the totality of the ancient powers of Omori. He will look for help, but no one will come to his rescue. What do you mean by ancient powers of Omori? I believe all this nonsense are happening because I kept aside the powers of my fathers to deal with them like a man who is civil, with tolerance and decorum. But you can see all of that is not yielding anything. Shouldn't we be talking about the princess now? We should allow her marry somebody she wants and loves. That has been handled. I am no longer leaving any stone unturned. I will unmask all the evil around me. And to do that, I will involve the ancient past. I have been meaning to make a confession to you. You know, all this while, Lady Charlotte had me in check because she made it very clear to me that she would ruin my marriage if I do not play along. Lady Charlotte, I don't understand. What, what are you talking about? Everything that's been happening in this palace is all my fault. Wait. You mean you are part of the grand scheme to make away with the ancient staff of my father's? No, not that. This has absolutely nothing to do with that. I'm talking about the problems the princess had. It was my fault. Why are you confusing me? What are you talking about? What do you even have to do with that cursed lady? I was involved with Lady Charlotte. Before I met you, your coming into my life made me quit that lifestyle. And she promised she was going to let you know about my past. And once you do that, you would throw me out of the palace. So. Why did you choose to come clean now? I'm tired of carrying the bondage of supporting evil. The princess is about getting married to a man. My husband. Please, if I could get your forgiveness for keeping this away from you all these years, then I'll know exactly how to deal with Lady Charlotte. Please. How? How to ex... You making me a promise on the ancient staff of Umori that you will never go back to that lifestyle. I already stopped even before we got involved. Nothing can make me ever go back to that lifestyle again. I will not judge you by your past, for you have been an excellent queen. And I intend to keep it that way. As for Lady Charlotte, she has been handled, and that's all there is about her. Jesus, we meet again. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ebu I'm sure you don't know what played out here. You see this guy? 
is my boy. Oh, yes. But I, I am lost. Can someone bring me on the same page? Success in Dubizu, seated right beside you, is an old friend. I engaged him to get you out of lesbianism. And I am glad he succeeded. Brother, <laughs> I personally brought him and pleaded with you to employ him as my driver, mm -hmm. which you did. Mm -hmm. And he became my personal assistant. So where's the connection of friendship and where's that coming from? My king, what you are asking me to do, it's a mafia oppression. And you feel you cannot do it. Listen, success in Dubizu. I have known you for many years. And I know what you can do. I picked you for this because I know you can pull it off very thoroughly. Your Majesty, this whole plans that you configured will surely not work out according to plan. It may make you see me as a failure, and that is what I don't want it to happen. Listen, success. It took me time to come up with this. Ebubene is deep into lesbianism. What I want you to bring out of it. Your Majesty, hope you know that to bring her out of this will certainly make me to end up having something to do with the princess. And who says you cannot have anything to do with her? Listen, you have my royal express permission to go all out with her. But please, make sure she doesn't get to know you and I have known before. Oh no. You trust me on that. I, I can't disappoint. Good. As for the lady they call Lady Charlotte, the one that deceives her. Okay. I need her dismantled. If possible, run her out of town. Mm. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. Once I see the motivation, <laughs> trust me, I trust the process. I will begin immediately. You have no problem with that. I will wire a million naira into your account and then furnish you with other necessary details. Okay. Scissors. My princess. Wait. So, you actually were not looking for a job the day we met? Absolutely. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't looking for any job. <laughs> what happened was that I dislodged Lady Charlo the night before you came. Hey, there is something I want you to do for me. What is that? I need your help to get to Lady Charlotte. How? I don't want it to look like blackmail, but it is something close to that. How will I do that? I discovered you are into women also. Fine. Since you know I'm into women, blackmailing Lady Charlotte is like blackmailing myself. Donna, come on, look. We are going to do it in such style and manner that you won't get involved. Is that okay? Okay. Great. So what is in it for me? Yeah. I will offer you 300,000. 300,000? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me hear your plan. Okay, um, look, mm -hmm. you cannot as well get someone to help you with the process. There's this friend of yours I used to see you with. What about her? Mm -hmm. Is she also into women? No, she's not. Is she aware that you are into this? No. No, let's just leave Nene out of this. What if I'm the one to drink the drug juice? It still doesn't change anything. Or oh, do you mind being touched by a woman? I don't like doing this with hey, Nene. Come on, look. Either ways, we both still get what we want. She is too innocent for this. I had to be here 
the next day because I knew you were going to come. So that was what played out. No, so so the both of you conspired together and made a fool out of me. Not right? Really. Not really. Um, the most important thing is that the whole plan worked out very, very well. Absolutely. And trust me, I feel better and better inside of me. I know. <laughs> you see. I've always known you needed that inner peace. So I employed him. We hatched a plan. And I'm glad you're happy now and everything is fine. You're no longer involved in that. <laughs> so now I can comfortably call for the cleansing so the festival can begin. On that note, both of you can go ahead and cement your relationship as man and wife. <gasps> oh <my goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Oh God, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Anything for you, all I need is your happiness. Young man. Your Majesty. Make sure you take very good care of my sister, else I will invoke the wrath of my eyes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> welcome to the <laughs> of thing of people call abomination she's living a dirty lifestyle and she don't want to let it go she's living a wayward life something she learns from the wisdom world is it a and traditions and oh, my science or something she call her freedom is against the law of our land oh. it is a taboo for a woman to lay a fellow woman in a land it is a taboo and a bang in a science oh. it's an abomination to say to women who are intimately in love you know they have now it's an abominable thing, no. Stop living away with life. Practicing the kind of thing that people call abomination. She's living a dirty lifestyle. And she don't want to let it go. She's living away with life. She learns from the wisdom world. It's a taboo in our own culture and traditions. And our science or something she call her freedom is against the law of our life. 